Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Just making sure the audio levels are pretty good. Uh, I felt like the, the music level last stream was a little, little, little low, but it's always... Uh, um, it's always something that like sounds normal to me. And then when I review it later, I'm like, a little quiet. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll give you guys like a little rundown because it'll it'll be a good way to do an introduction. I'm, uh, I don't have a huge map update for people who are in the Duke 4 Discord or anything like that because that's where I, I post a ton of stuff anyways um, when I actually work on stuff. And... Oh, sorry, I just dropped all my headphones. Just gotta make sure that this isn't playing uh, any weird audio either. Um, so I'll, I'll give you guys like a general idea for, for the non-Discord people, and it'll give me a good way to do an introduction, but in terms of my usual shenanigans where I have a, like a, a big big map update for everybody. I don't. Um, not that it's like really super uh, big of a reason, but it's uh, just I, I'm experimenting with my, my medication or my doctor is. Uh, not that I'm like dying or anything. I just have ADD. And uh, the, the only downside of my medication that I'm on is it's it's okay. And the fact that I was sick for two months, so that really slowed me down, is uh, my medication has a has a fall off, so after it lasts about like 12 hours. So the downside is once my work is done, that's when my medication starts to wear off, and it's just like a slump. I lose all my ener energy and like motivation once my work's done. Which the irony is, I started my medication so I would be able to get more done, not just at work, but uh, at home as well. Uh, so they're kind of trying to balance it out so we can figure out like. What should we do? Should we, should we move my medication out a little bit so that it would last later in the day, but not be as potent during the day? So weird things like that. Uh, I know it's a little, little personal, but it's 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 unfortunately caused an issue that I wasn't expecting with my uh, mapping progress. Not that, that that's upsetting me at all. I just I also wish I would have more updates for for everybody here. But I actually do have some stuff done. So. Um, nothing new for a lot of the people that I do post on Discord, but I think it'll be a good general idea because I haven't mentioned the lighthouse stuff that I was was thinking about or, or touching upon at all um, in Discord on YouTube. So it'll be a kind of a good way to do my little intro that I normally do and uh, kind of give a rundown of some other things as well. So let me flip over to that bad boy. So, uh, first things first is I, I, I did some, I did some changes to, uh, some, uh, some, some, some of the editor. This is not, not it though. So originally to give people a rundown of what what kind of started the streams again for people who are repeat watchers this can be like a retread of a lot of stuff that people have already heard but it's kind of the purpose of this is the i idea is um as a fan of duke 3d i always wanted to make my levels myself but i never had the skill or motivation to or let's say attention span especially now that i, I know my ADD is what exactly probably what caused it and uh, to to make my own maps. I was very poor at it. So now that I kind of re-got back into Duke 3D uh, this year with some graphs, some maps and stuff, I uh, decided to try my hand at, at making levels again, just, just, to, just to make something, right? To have a hobby, to actually try to say, you know what, let's check that box off. But I don't really know what I'm doing. So while I'm learning Mapster 32 over time, 
uh, I decided, you know what? I also haven't played a ton of user maps, so let's let's start a live stream and let's catalog stuff that I haven't played, play through it, but let's play through it a little differently where I'm also, while I'm playing it, looking at it to see how are things constructed from the perspective of knowing how the level editor is kind of functioning and working to see if maybe I can see those techniques, pinpoint them, pick them out, and maybe get inspired myself on how I could use those techniques for something different. And that began a process where I started to make this map, which is not abandoned. I, I currently have it on hold, kind of, sort of, just because I, I got a little bit of a, a, a roadblock. Sorry, I just moved all my, I'm in the middle of organizing all my files and now I don't know where everything is. Uh, where I started to make uh, this guy, and hopefully he's not corrupt. Yeah, yeah, so that, it, it's more so I just want updates for, for, for the general audience. So I start working on this. Uh, now, originally I wasn't going to talk about it or mention it before I started like streaming or anything. It was, it was, I was going to just make this for myself, not with the intention of making a level, we were just going to build a sculpture, if you want to think about it like that, like a fancy art piece. Just make something that looked cool in 3D. And that's slowly expanded, and we've been making this little room and uh, making some banks. And I eventually hit a wall, and I posted this update so that people have seen a ton of this. And I, I decided to take a step back from this one and go into something a little bit more organic based. This is very structural. And so one of the issues I was mentioning that I was running into was the idea of... Um, space that isn't real right so when you're building for example a building here i know that this building this wall is this long which means that technically a room can't get longer than that if this were real life but it's not you don't have to really abide by those laws so i could make this room a lot longer if i wanted to using some techniques but the way my brain was working is it would it wouldn't accept that even though i know i can do that and that's one of the things that's uh kind of interesting to me I just couldn't I couldn't do it and so I decided let's take a little step back uh, let's let's uh, let's try something in a different direction just to give myself uh, a different outlet to, to experiment on where maybe I'm not so restricted with real life ironically even if I'm still gonna be making kind of like real life situations not specifically like a street not a building right and Maybe then I'll, I'll come back to this. Like, I don't want to abandon this at all. Like, this is still my primary focus, but I, I just wanted to branch out and experiment with something else to also actually work on a technique that is going to be used in this map anyways, which is the true room over room stuff, uh, where you can kind of give the illusion that there's a room above room. We have been working on that, and that is available in this map. Like, for example, oops, uh, or clicking off. So, for example, this is technically room over room. We're above this black box. For people not familiar with Mapster, there is a room that technically isn't there. It's it's. If you want to think about this as a sheet of paper, it would be on a separate sheet of paper, and I'm really just stacking those sheets of paper on top of each other to give the illusion that it's room over room. <clears throat> Though in the editor, it still looks like it's all one big piece too. So if I open this up turn it sideways you can see it still looks like it's it's all one room so uh that's kind of what what we're one of working on but one of the things I, I i just i'm still not grasping the best is room over room outside doing outdoor environments where i don't have a wall to block things out uh or at least i'm supposed to hide walls a lot like how do you block sight lines so that started uh, creating this thing this weird uh, little pro side project that I started doing. Um, which the irony is, I don't know if I actually... Yeah, here it is. Uh, side project I started doing where I started making this. And this is just an experiment inspired by uh, Big Light, which is the lighthouse we uh, map we played two streams ago now. So two Saturdays ago. And this is currently three room over room layers. Um, now this isn't, I'm not gonna actually continue to build this version of this map. This was just to see uh, how it worked. 
And there is some issues like when you actually go and play this map of the game. Uh, this is something that I post on Discord. If you go into the playlist that I have set up uh, where I mentioned, I, I forget what it's called. I guess I could just quickly tell you. What did I call it? It's not the tutorial one. Uh, tests and Trials is Mapster32. Tests and Trials is the playlist I have where it's kind of uh, little videos. I sometimes randomly post of progress or things I'm working on. A lot of stuff there um, is the... Uh, is just like little stuff I get stuck on, but I, I list them as unlisted videos a lot, so you can only really find them in that playlist unless you're on like sort of Discord channels. Uh, but so the idea of this was just, I just want to see how it functions, see how it works. So I know that once I get into a game uh, that there is some visual glitches when looking around corners and seeing the next layer, which I don't know if I fully understand yet what that was being said. Um, like, I understand what they're explaining, how it's like, okay, it's you're seeing the corner and that's what's causing the glitch, but I don't know fully if I know how to avoid it yet. Uh, because of the under above water. It's like a large scale planning exercise. Same situation right now, trying to remake Blood Zone. Um, which map was Flood Zone off the top of my head? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, this is one. I remember those were some of the cooler maps from a, from a technical standpoint for me, just watching things get sunk underwater. We could have a fascination with underwater. Um, so yeah, that's what this is. So, I, not a huge update if, again, you're on the Discord people, because I haven't actually done any additional work yet really on this. But what I started to do is plan a lot of stuff out on paper. So what we're thinking about doing is, I wonder if I have, I think I accidentally deleted it. I ended up making um, a little grid map. Yeah, I deleted it. Yeah, I, I started making a little grid map where I could start planning some stuff out. And uh, the idea was, uh, I can, I, I, you know, I'll give you a quick, quick like concept of what I'm, I was started doing. Flop this open here. Well, so I'll I'll go in and show you this map in the in the game as well, uh, so that you can kind of get an idea of what what the glitch is I'm talking about because it's, it's pretty big, but it's also avoidable. Um, so it, it'll be something. Let's delete this. I don't want this actually. Oh, I did try something different for my medication. Not that that's like again super important for you guys, but uh, today, just to see, see if it might, I won't fade away halfway through. That's one of my other issues. I, I feel like I maybe it's a, an issue only I notice where halfway into a, a, a bajillion hour stream, I'm, I'm not as talkative, which maybe is normal. Maybe that's just a normal thing. Uh, window. Sorry, I'm just I'm just get setting up a little stream here. Not that it's not what I wanted. Hello, everybody. People rolling in. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get to the actual map in a minute. This kind of just gives people some time to to flood in as well. Let's do window capture. Uh, 
So this is my little, little, little grid I made. And again, there's nothing on here because I deleted the original one. So, and like what I'm, I'm actually working on a, a physical paper, that thing made out of trees. So, but the idea was I would go into this and you would sketch out, this is the side view, for example. And it wasn't going to be like a detailed view at all. All it was going to be was you would start to kind of do, wow, not, not that big. Uh, you would start to do your sketch lines of where I kind of wanted certain things to be. So like, for example, I know I wanted a little platform. You know you're going to have the lighthouse. In the drawing, I kind of quickly sketched out for people. I'm like, okay, I want a little divot here so it would go down a little bit. And you'd have a little path here. And I'm like, there would be some zigzags. These zigzags would be like stairs going down. And bear with me, this will make sense in my mind. So you would kind of, and there's like a little church here is what I was thinking and something would happen here. But it would just be to figure out what would be a good silhouette for the level instead. This is, this is what my thought process is for this. So what would be the good silhouette? And then once I have kind of the silhouette of, of where the player would move, if you were to think about just tracking the player's movement on a map, then I could go in and then start adding details or gameplay scenarios. So because I knew this was going to be kind of like, okay, you would go down, you're going up a mountain. We had a beach front here is what I, I, I kind of started writing down. This would be easier if I could just take a picture and show you my actual drawing I did but I don't have that. So there, you'd start on a beach, you want to go up the mountain, you want to get to the lighthouse, you want to turn something on on the lighthouse, and that would open something in the church, and that would lead to something else that I'm not talking about. But once you kind of, I have the side view, it's like then I could start to go into each individual section and block it off. For example, like in this section here, where I'm like, okay, there's this windy path that kind of goes down this little side mountain. I'm like, okay, well, what happens if we put little graves there because of the church? And then you would, I would take that area, expand it, and start drawing and building out a section for that like it was its own little map. And the idea is you would find out little unique visuals as well as um, uh, gameplay scenarios for each section that you travel to, and I could slot them in and expand on them. But first, it would all depend on getting the overall idea of what this island would look like. And, um, well, so, and the only, and I do think it's a down view a lot too. So on my paper, I do. The only reason I had this for the side view is for my, my original sketch was because this was specifically to test room over room. So I wanted to figure out, okay, if I was going to build from the top down, like some people have suggested I do for room over room, well, where would I, I block those things off, which is why I said that little little original post-it note sketch that I did so that's why I thought about it like that but then once I actually got into the each area so for example if I started to work on that like where I'm saying hey there's a grave site here I would start blocking that off where I would start going okay yeah this is going to be your your overview like head and yeah there's your windy path now and then you might have like a little grave here for example like it would look better because I'm just trying to explain it quickly <laughs> and I don't have the visual image to show you the drawings that I'm working on, um, which is where what I'm doing. I'm trying to plan more of this out on paper instead of just doing it on the fly. Not that I think that's a bad idea either. It's, it's just one of those things that um, I get caught up in those little details where I'm like, on my on my diner map, it's like, ooh, I wanna build a car, and then I'll, I'll focus a ton of time building that car. Or, ooh, I wanna build this diner, so I'll focus a lot of time building the diner. But it's the in between i haven't really thought of so while i I'm, I'm very happy with each individual part i'm making i don't really know how they're always going to go well together and so i'm trying to think about it a little bit more in advance before i i do something with the only exception here being like these weird little experiments like here so i want to go into the game and uh show you the visual glitch that we're running into here for for this and then we're going to start the main purpose of the stream. I guess, you know what, while we're doing this at the same time, I can probably tell if this is, if my script's going to work.
So, Demon stuff. Okay, cool. Still works. Um, so this is the visual glitch I'm talking about. Where so everything looks normal right now, right? You can go run around, you can look up, go inside some stuff. Not that there's anything in here, but technically, right, this shouldn't exist because it, it can't be on top of where you're about to go in. Um, now there's sector over sector stuff we can do, and and that's kind of where I'm thinking for for this um for for this concept that I I'm I'm thinking about working on. I'm starting to lean more on like what I originally thought is it would just be cool if you climbed up a giant lighthouse, right? So if you go, I'll show you the visual glitch in a minute. But so if you climb up this giant lighthouse, you have a little seaside village down here, like a fishing shanty place. Uh, you get here by boat and then you go up and you climb up. You have to do something to get up here. Again, th taking big light, big inspirations from lighthouse slash big light where uh, it's just I wanted to play with that sense of scale. And, but I also thought it would just be cool that if you did get on top of this, you could just jump down and you could see yourself fall the way down. Cause that happened a few times in uh, lighthouse where I did fall down and you'd see myself fall all the way to the bottom. There was some teleportations happening that were a little jarring. So that's kind of one of the reasons I was really hoping to get room over room working um, in a way where you could one still get that sense of scale but you could drop from the top all the way to the bottom now that opened up some challenges though because then if i'm if i'm doing it all room over room again because i'm not i'm trying to probably be way too ambitious for my skill set but that's also how i learn better so the idea is i'd have to make sure you'd be able to go everywhere unless i start blocking it off oh yeah it's gonna get really bad when i show it off really well um so what like you'd be able to go everywhere on this island so then you have to start to think about where i block it off or do i go a different route and which is more in line with how lighthouse works and a little about a map by sg scott street grounds author and his brother called clear the coast maybe i'll add that um well, I'll show you something else I was going to do because I, I I have a question if somebody recommended this one. Um, so what we are going to do is maybe instead of doing just room over room for everything, what happens if we give you the illusion? What happens if we started off on the little seaside shanty here on the beach? You could still see the lighthouse, but it wasn't real. It was a projection, right? So it's, it's kind of like a... a a fake miniature and you're not going to that lighthouse that you see from the bottom and it'll slowly teleport you to different sections so I could maybe expand the detail scope and really block you in but you'd still feel like you're trekking up this giant thing but one of the things we would lose is the ability to once we get to the top jumping all the way to the bottom or would we I have I'm thinking maybe we wouldn't I could still use a way a teleportation trick to still give that illusion maybe but still, if I could pull it off in room over room, that would be cool. But yeah, this is the the weird visual glitch that's happening. So it's it's normal when I kind of go down here, but you'll start to see it kind of play out where it's 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 weird. I thought it was because I'm using slopes, uh, but somebody did kind of explain what it was. And I need to. But I think I could avoid it. I definitely think I could avoid that render bug, right? Especially when a, if, if I'm trying to sell a very specific visual or look, it's not, is it going to happen now? I was having it too when I was looking down here. Um, but this is why I wanted to do this as a, as a test, right? So I, I wanted to see what, where this would break. And so I could kind of build around it. And, so yeah, Ledsborn did tell me the solution, right? So he he told me the solution and it's just I have to start making it, right? But first I decided I'll start planning the map out a little bit better and playing around with this just to test it out. So this will never be um this version that you're seeing here will never be the map that I will finish. It's just the test version to play with room over room. Um because of wall overlap and interference. Yeah, that's what he said. And and that's the part I'm like, does he mean like I need to make it a little, like give it a little lip here? Is that what the implication is? 
Um, but we'll we'll sort out that issue over time. Um, the only other thing it really is, I'm pretty sure this is it. So hopefully the audio is fine. But that's about it. Now, so we'll get into the actual map of the day. How many chore layers do you have? This is just three. So this is three chore layers right now. So we have one, two, three. And to be fair, again, like the, even the layers I have here, one of them doesn't even need to exist. It's not, it's a useless chore layer. Uh, it kind of, sort of. Like, it, I, I, there's a way I could have made this without using so many chore layers just by being a little bit more partial. But that wasn't the purpose of this. this the purpose was to it's essentially break the break the editor so I could just understand better how it works. Now, the only thing I still haven't figured out is this. Your walls here, I'm trying to figure out how I would make these sky. Now, Leadsborn, Rox, who we did, uh, we played Submachine, was great. And specifically, uh, uh, I can't I can't say the name, Durzorn Gortz. Uh, that one, the oil rig map. That one, he said specifically, is the one I should look at to to solve this problem. So I, I do have that set up to, to look into afterwards as well. And uh, then once I tackle this, I think I'll, I'll have an understanding of Tror to a point where when I go back to my diner map I'm working on, it will I'll be able to solve a lot of the problems I have. Um, Now, I'm, I'm so used to CK3D's maps being like 5,000 hours long. So I'm not... doesn't suffer as higher system requirements. Yeah. But I, I, it's just... Like, while I could definitely probably brute force this render bug away, I also know I could... It's just, it's just I need to understand this better, right? Like, I'm not an expert. I, I don't use Tror very often. Uh, even in my, my other map that I'm working on, it's so far I've only really used it indoors. So I'm still very, very limited in my understanding of a Tror. Like, I could tell you, here's the, like, the Tror layer right there. And there's another one right here is where it separates. Um, but I just need to kind of kind of change things up but you you can get the general idea of what the idea is you want to go start at the bottom go higher i would like this to be way bigger to be honest like i would like it to be taller i like as yeah we get a sense of scale but i would like a, a bigger sense of scale and i think we would get that once i actually start building out like especially if i had houses down here that would instantly raise the levels up of this like 10 to 15 duke heights or whatever we want to call it so I'm not, I just need to figure out and understand Tror better. And I'm getting there. Like, I'm getting there. It's just, it's just uh, some, some slow progress. But, uh, yeah. So, with that being said, if you didn't hit a like, always feel free to hit a like. Uh, if you want, uh, do subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get into. It. I was I was tempted today to log in earlier than the twelve that I anticipated because I was like, should I play through LA Meltdown first before playing this? Now, for for people who aren't familiar with what we're going to be playing, like me, really, is uh, so LA Meltdown twenty forty seven is. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's to my understanding, it's the entire first episode of LA Meltdown just crammed into one giant level. Right. So not obviously one to one. It's a reimagining. So it's not like you're going to see each individual area exactly how it was. Um, but it's just just a giant level. That is meant to be. Uh, it, it's it's just a giant level meant to recreate the concept or feeling of L.A. Meltdown and, and scenarios into one level. So it's the, I thought, like, what should I play through L.A. Meltdown uh, in advance? Like as a stream. Now I did do that privately. I think I, I'm missing two levels. I didn't get time to be just because I, I was busy this week. 
but I I did replay Three LA Meltdown, and I remember most of it. I'm in the secret level right now. Um, because I was trying to see how fast I could beat it. I'm like, could I? Because I know it's not long. LA Meltdown nowadays, it's not long. Um, and I know LA Meltdown good enough that I co- probably could beat in like 30, 40 minutes if I wanted to, especially if I wasn't secret hunting. Um, but I also don't know how long this map is. I think blending Troar with old floor over floor is when the engine actually shines. And that is where I'm thinking this would work better. As Again, as cool as I want that Troar effect where it would be just one giant thing, I think if I, I would have way better control if I actually faked it a bit, right? So you, I would still use Troar levels for a lot of the stuff to give you that scale. But like, for example, where I mentioned how like this little part where I'm saying it would dip down and you would go down here and there'd be like graves. This would be a lot longer, so it would be a lot wider, and I'd, I, you'd be able to get a lot more detail done. So it's like you'd see the lighthouse still. The lighthouse would be your beacon, not just because it's a lighthouse. Um, and you could kind of just block things off more, right, and control the setting. Because the one thing I, I'm, I'm afraid of is when I do this is, again, if there, there's too much freedom for the player at least for me, I get I it's not that you'd get lost here because you're climbing up a mountain, so there's not a ton of different ways you could do it. But it's it's even something I felt in Big Boy's Lighthouse where probably I could cut down two or three hours if I, I if I felt very confident in where I was going. But I, I also don't think you'd need that. It's just that's how me personally I'm I, I easily get lost or distracted because of shiny things. There's just some things that I think if you could pull off with Troar, it really sells that that effect, that illusion. And it's I, I just like the idea if you'd know how the sauce is made, and it, it would be cool. So I can help. But yeah, there's a lot of cool, cool little details. Yeah, so if you're not familiar with LA Meltdown, you should probably go play Duke 3D. It's it's pretty good. Um, I'm scared I, I don't know how long this is gonna be. Not that that's a complaint. I'm just I'm scared. Yeah, I just like that. That sense of scale is great. And then scaling. One thing I wanted to, I was trying to figure out. Um, is if I could make the mapster I, I I do know this is technically possible so I was I don't like the font in mapster it's very small for me um so if you kind of I know I said I was I was gonna play the map but I quickly want to show this example and then and then I promise. We'll get into it. What are you waiting for? Christmas? Yeah. Th that's the one thing I'm trying to also do myself is, is not get so obsessed with the details, mainly early on. Like, that's why that lighthouse in my test map right now is just a a giant block. Why are you not showing up, dear, dear mapster? Sometimes OBS has an issue where it just doesn't want to show the the program that I'm I'm doing. In a, in a weird way. So let me exit out of this for a second. Maybe it'll let me know. Let me reopen this, and then we'll.
and I don't think it is an option right now. That that's kind of why I'm 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 kind of pointing it out. Like I have a little list I started making of stuff I would love to have in in Mapster or eduke in general. Like if I were able to make changes, not that I think they might be the best changes in the world, and somebody might be able to counter and say, well, there's a reason we're not doing this. Um, which is map? Why is OBS doing this? Why? Give me a second. Just gotta figure out why it's not showing up for me now. Fine, I'll remove you and we'll add it again. Oh, and that there, there it is. Magic. So, um. Yeah, so it's it's is this font size, right? Okay, so so maybe so the max grid size I did do. Maybe I haven't done it because I reinstalled eduke and I have to do it again, but I'm pretty sure I did it again. Uh, the font size though is like is this, right? Like right now when I'm I, I cuz especially cuz I'm on a little laptop and that text is super hard to see. So when I'm not streaming it's easier because I can go right up to it and feel like I'm 800 years old. But um, like, I'd like to change the little text size. Now I do. Somebody did send something where I, I can change it, but it's it, all it is is zooming into everything and everything's like super tiny now. Um, so it's not the, like I like this visual to work with. I just want the text to be bigger so I can easily read it. Right. Um, and I feel like that should be something I would love to add. Um, other than that, yeah, uh, if anyone's curious, I'm using a, I'm using a user interface mod here so that, uh, so that I, I, I can kind of do some scale. So it replaced the default texture that everybody, well, CK3D, it's a, uh, the, the brick texture with this so I can build things better with grids. The other thing I did is I've mentioned this in other streams. I'm going to actually make a little video soon of this. Not that I think everybody should go do this on their own, especially if you're already kind of uh, familiar with uh, Mapster, like in your you're already ingrained in your ways. But in terms of onboarding, I do think there's some stuff that could be better. So I obviously have that selector tool that's added to make 3D selections a little bit easier. Now I have this user interface mod, which just adds this little graphic here. It does some other stuff too. So uh, one of the things it did, it changed the the like sprites for some of the utilities just to make it a little bit more readable. So you get these little guys. I don't know if that's actually going to be better or worse yet because I really haven't started playing with this stuff. But whatever it, it, it to me, it seems in, in I in concept, it'll be more readable. So I think it's pretty cool. But I don't think it would be something I would personally say should be mandatory. I would be it would be great if it would be an option if they made this like a an option you could turn on so you can have the old way or the new way. And uh, that way, if you're familiar with the old stuff, you could still do the old stuff. But if you want these cool new new ones, I still think this is pretty good for onboarding. So uh, that's that's the other thing I'm doing. With long walls too, it can be annoying at times. Zooming in and out, you can easily lose sight of the. Oh yeah, that happens to me all the time. Or I'm trying to make something a very specific size, and I because it's so long, it I I can't see how long it is anymore. I kind of wish that would follow you along the measurement so that was always in, in your view so you knew how, how long that wall would be. Um, as a placeholder for textures, tile number 182. Which one is that one? 182. I know there's like a search tool, but... Oh. Yeah, I use this one too, but I, I guess, uh, you know what? Uh, I do like how this one, though, has, uh, it, it has these little other blocks too. I guess that one technically does. I don't know why. I just felt like I needed this more. And so somebody, so, so this was what was recommended. But yeah, I, I don't know if it does anything else, but so far it's it's pretty good. I haven't really been able to use it, use it when I'm building. So, But it did help build that lighthouse a lot faster. Like that thing t took me like an hour or two to build uh, that Troar test. Actually, probably longer. That's a lie because I, I remember I was working on something else before. 
so two or three hours and I nailed that out. Um, and again, that was even still something I shouldn't have done that complicated for something I knew I was never going to use. Uh, anyways, this is a, this is, this is a, a longer distraction than I anticipated. So let's go back to the, the edukes and actually play the map. Hello, Alex. Sorry, I'm, I'm second guessing whether or not I had the right options to turn on. Did I have the folder selected? Yeah, I did. Okay. Sorry. Every once in a while, it just disappears. Just it's like OBS is like, I don't know what you're talking about. What what's what's eduke? I can't make that a selectable option. Guys. So I did turn this on to make the thumbnail that I made, but that's as far as I got. Man, I was so when I mentioned I was playing through Hollywood Holly cost, I was not playing it on PC. I was playing it on my Switch just because I I got the World Tour edition for a penny because I had some points saved up. So, uh, but man, it's so weird playing on a, maybe it's that version as well, but it's just so weird playing it on a console, um, where I realized how bad my aim is and I'm like dying a ton. I also feel I was on the world tour version. Like I'm really good at throwing pipe bombs and pipe bombs, killing, uh, octobrains in the water and stuff like in one hit. It feels like it takes like 12 pipe bombs in the World Tour version. I, I don't know if they, that's different, if that's changed. Uh... Sorry, my throat's a little damaged from being sick for like two months. So every once in a while, it gets super dry. And I'm drinking coffee, which is probably not helping it. I'm going to die already. I was... Speaking about scale. Uh, speaking about scale, I'm going to die a little bit until I get, get warmed up a little bit here. Um, yes. I, uh, I'm pretty sure all your maps have a pretty good sense of scale. All right. Let's deal with these guys first. Maybe be a little bit more careful since it seems that there's probably going to be a lot of lot of little guns here. Come get some. I'm going to get medieval on your asses. Oh, such mean. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's that's it's because they're they're color they're color coded to match. I remember I mentioned blast radius. A lot of the issue I had issues I had was some of the enemies because they're just recolors. They would blend in with all the colored lighting, and I would never know which version of the enemies I'm fighting. It feels like you took that uh, took that turret decided let's make all the turrets hard to see as punishment. And then I, I did read, obviously, you have uh, sentry drones in here as well. And let's make sure we have everything here. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, oh, yeah. So one of the ones I was thinking about playing, I wasn't originally thinking about playing this right away. Because uh, I, 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 I was basing on what can I make a thumbnail on? and uh, But I, I did have, I think it was called... Uh, I'll look it up afterwards. Was it Alien Hive? Maybe? Like, it feels appropriate for a security system like this, so that you'd want them to blend in, so I'm kind of okay with it there. Look how... Look how see, like, look at this sense of scale. Like, it, it's... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I didn't want to do that. Wait. I'm not going to make it, but I just... That's not what you're supposed to do. I... But I just... I know this do I did that a lot in Blast Radius. I would use, like, the little sprites that for decoration to, uh... Climb things. I don't know if we, I was supposed to. Alright, so I know the obvious way is to go over here. So let's go over here. That happened because I looked at chat the moment... The moment I, uh, you said that worked. It's, just, it's okay. I just gotta get my sea legs. Got my sea legs. Do I? I'm assuming I can climb up this, right? Okay. I like I like the idea of starting up here and having to climb across all this stuff, so you still get to you you get a like an overview of this city while you're walking around. Who's that? Who's doing that? Oh. Made it to the second building. And then I say. You gave me steroids. Oh no. Are you going to expect me to use them? I duck so much. It's not like it's going to help my aim, but I still feel like it does. Fun thing to do is to, to get the turrets to shoot each other if you can. Do they just start shooting each other if that happens? Do they have infighting? I noticed that actually in, uh, uh, at least in World Tour, when I was playing uh, uh, 
LA Meltdown. First level. What's the first level called? Is it just Alley Meltdown? Or is that just the whole episode? Um, there was a... No, Hollywood Holocaust. That's what it is. Um, I feel like it's appropriate. Well, ducking obviously helps. I guess ducking also makes me a harder target to hit in my mind. Um, but in... Um, I don't think I... Yeah, my it's not really a hitting them. All right, let's let's screw those guys. Let's grab some ammo, restock. I forgot I don't have level stats on. Um, what was I saying? Oh, and all, so World Tour, there's like a, the two turrets at the end that when you fly the jetpack way at the top, it's not a secret, but it's there. I noticed they keep shooting. They're trying to shoot Duke, but they're shooting, it looks like they're shooting each other, and I wonder if that's happening. Look at that. There's something way over there in the distance. See, this is what I was talking about. Like, I like these little skybox looking things. I like how they fall like that. All right. Oh, let's get some pipe bombs. And some, some of this. I feel like I'm going to really need all the ammo I can get. Also, World Tour has, on the minimal HUD, has the AI armor. I don't know why they do, and we can't get that in the Duke. What's with the stats? Uh, it's it's a weird issue with the current eduke that I've noticed. The past two or three versions of eduke have had it like that. No idea why. It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. I'm all out of gum. Unless there is a, another reason that somebody knows, like maybe I, I changed something in the settings because like I do have that little script for my keys, so I can have the keys on this HUD. Maybe that's that. But I noticed that at least uh, the past couple streams, it's it's been like that. Come get some. Hello. Wow. Imagine living in this city where there's like just turrets on every building. Oh, there was a platform. Uh, uh. I'm gonna die here. Sometimes I just die looking at chat. It's acceptable. When I die, blame chat. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember Radar mentioning as well. I saw screenshots. It, it's it's definitely recent Eduke, because I have an older version of Eduke uh, installed for some stuff. It's not there. So it's only on this one. Oh, dang, I didn't send, didn't save. Here, well, we got these pipe bombs, so let, let, let's use them. Hoping that was going to have a better effect. All right. I don't know why I was trying to catch that bullet in my face. Was there a hint about it? What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Hint about what? I feel like I lost a thread somewhere. Yeah, like it's not obviously huge. It's just I would like a I would like a, a toggle 
for the, the, the stat screen, though. Look at that. Look at that building. Oh, it's too far away for me to see how it's built, but I'm pretty sure it's that's sprites. Especially since you don't room over room. Do you think I could pipe bomb that far? I, like... No. The answer is no. Um, I didn't want to do that. Jesus. Hey, there's a button. There's a button. Freezer? Okay. Oh, there's freezer ammo up there, too. There's freezer ammo right there. I need I need to get like a little home base going, so I need a I need a get rid of these defensive turrets. So I can have some a place to run back to and breathe. Okay, I see that atomic health. But I want to get some more health first before I grab it. I meant the uh, elevator thing. Map. Uh, that's okay. I also have not played this map yet, so we are we are all allowed to get lost. The dangers of just running is <laughs> I'm going to probably trigger more bad guys. Maybe we should. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Okay. 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 Uh, health. 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 <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we did we did okay. Oh, you put you putting them that's just cruel. Oh boy. Okay, let's get maybe that atomic health now. I don't know. Save. Actually, should have. Should have grabbed that health first. It's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. No, you didn't put pigs, but you did you did put sentry drones. Do I wanna freeze this guy and shoot him with a pistol? Because Meh. 
Nailed it. Oh, did we not grab the steroids? Not that I, like, I used them a ton, but I was thinking about it. No. Imagine being the person that had to stuff sentry drones into a, a trash can. Somebody should make, like, a trash can mimic, where it's a trash can, and then it, like, starts flying around like a little sentry drone. Maybe transforms into it a little bit. Let's grab some pipe bombs. Come get some. Well, so I don't think it's necessarily going to always be maybe visual similarities. Like, for example, we started on the rooftop. You saw uh, Duke's plane crashing. So I think it's going through the same maybe general beats. I don't know if it's going to be you're going to be like, yeah, this is. This is this is that place from LA Meltdown. So it's it's not gonna be like I think there's the movie theater that we end up going in. That's why it's a reimagining. Instead of necessarily like a like a remake. There's a difference, I guess, you know. Okay, let's get some some Pipe bombs, get some ammo. Who, who is who is being a little nuisance? Who is being a nuisance? Uh, okay, so I heard creepy sounds over here. 13 secrets. Will I find any of them? Probably not. Oh, never mind. Found a secret. I guess I should kind of know what to expect from these secrets. Okay, there's that guy over there. Just seeing how, how certain things are built here. Is the button you shot earlier, by the way. Oh, is that what that was? Is that what that was? I thought it was I you know what? I'm I'm still kind of in Ledsborn mode where I'm like, okay, you, that's probably gonna be a super secret. But that also makes sense. Cause you know, I'm such a sniper with this pistol, I can definitely shoot it. There we go. Look at that. All right, here we go. Oh, I didn't even notice there was Devastator there. All right. Let me down. Let me down. Thank you. Here we go. Pipe bombs? Okay. Pipe bombs? Really want me to use those pipe bombs. Yeah. 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 Look at that sentry drone just hovering. Oh, he knows me. He heard me talking about him. Got some swimming gear. Wonder what that's supposed to mean. Maybe going for a swim. Look at these little sprite stairs. Adorable.
Let's go up here. I always wonder if you like went back in time and showed one of the developers like a map like this, what would their response be? Would they be like crap in their pants? Wait, this was a secret up here? I don't know if that's what triggered that second secret. Yeah. This works well. This moon texture with this actually matches pretty well. I don't like the moon texture. I'm assuming I, I think that's what it is like the. Oh, my God. I didn't know what was going on here. Uh, let me get this. I'll just do this and go fishing just because I can. Well, like, I, I'm, you'd also get the luxury of playing it on, like, a, a computer that could run it. Not not one back then. Just that, so that they could see what the engine could potentially do. Yeah. I'm trying to corner me here. Nailed it. First try. Uh, probably should start using some, some steroids, maybe. Like, in the game, not in real life. I don't think I... Oh, I need them here. Gave me this freeze thrower, but I haven't felt very capable of using it quite yet. Kind of hit for seven. Yeah, must be tripping out that people even still use the engine for sure. Well, he was working on that build engine too for a little bit. I, I don't remember why he was. Maybe just for for fun, stretch those programming muscles. I would like that a little higher so I could jump up there, but that's okay. I'll, I'll go over here. Groovy, come get some. I'm getting shot from every angle. I'm kind of clearing out sections here so that I, I can freely explore with hopefully out like not getting shot in my face. I like this bridge to nothing. Like people might want to see something over here. Hello. God, jump up there, get shot instantly. Be up there. Oh, that's how I get in there. Okay, okay, I see that. I see that. All right. Trust, trust. See if I could jump up there. Nope. Go up here. Go up here. So many pipe bombs. Oh, when did I pick up that? I can't believe I never actually knew Atomic Health was in those things. Like, I, I must have obviously seen it happen as a kid, but I, I don't think I ever acknowledged that, oh, that means that they're, they're in there all the time. I like this bed. Nice little, little bed. Wait. 
Where did that go? Uh, let's go check this out. Drones. Here you like sentry drone. I mean, sentry guns. So we put some sentry guns. Guy was giving me a hard time. Somebody, I feel like there was somebody else that I watched that also didn't really know that. And it was like, like a game changer. It's one of those things that I'm like, how can you not? How, how do you not know that? But then again, I don't think I even knew when I first started playing uh, that. I don't know when I found it out. Ooh, look at this red lighting. Let's think this through. Let's think this through. This is a very interesting revolving do door. Okay. Is that a secret? I don't know. I was kind of like halfway into blowing those ones up. I was like, oh, there's probably something. Something, something there. Maybe boxes are the key. Maybe the boxes signify I am a sentry drone. Secret tell, if you will. All right, let's travel around here. Yeah. Why is the sentry drone watching that? That's a sentry gun watching that. That's what? 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 So um, this is the red light district area. So yeah, we're covering all the ground so far. So then I'm assuming this door does something here. Maybe. Just don't check a message there. Definitely best time to use steroids right now. Right now, guys. Right now. Let's go. Yeah! So much freezer ammo. Is it freezer good for these guys? No, because they just bounce another way. Okay. Except for that time. Bitch. Okay, 
Okay, box theory is not working out so far. I don't. Uh, knock my phone on my keyboard. It's a disaster. Disaster occurs that way. Alright, kids. Oh, got spooky noises! But it says wrong way, which means it's the right way. It's not. Maybe it is the wrong way. Sentry guns. Come on. Where's my Come get some? Uh pretty do you know, pretty doing pretty pretty good on health. I'm doing pretty good on health. I'm pretty pretty happy with it. Nailed it. I like this gate. It's very nice. Oh. oh. Oh, look at that. Weird little thing. Is that a vent? that way. Live. Should have expected that. Alright. Thirteen? Okay, so I got ten more secrets. Just trying to get shotgun ammo. Oh, there we go. I was about to say, that means we're probably going to get a shotgun soon. Very exciting, very exciting. Damn sentries. Oh, no. Banner ammo, so I know I'll be okay once I get that. And then watch you not spawn any sentry drones once I finally get the expander, just to just to really mess with me. I like how they fall. Like I, I, I they get, that's got to be coded in them if they're close to an edge that they fall. Otherwise, it's one of those happy accidents that somebody must have made. I want to go back up there in case I miss something. Definitely feel like I would have hid something down there. You know? I, think, I like this little little thing. Okay, so we can go in there. Go swimming. How do I jump up there? I guess I would jump up here.
Who is doing that? Who is shooting me? It's over there. I can't jump here, so I can't get up here normally. So I have to, I guess, fall. Like, I guess I could go down here, right? I cannot. Okay. So, like, I gotta... So where I think I would put one, a secret, is in one of these things. Which one? Hmm. At street level. Alright, well, first let me try to do something stupid, even if it means nothing. Yeah. Here in the gooiness. <laughs> Are you smaller? Why are you weird? By focusing on the wrong thing by thinking that looks weird. Or do I jump? I could jump across from there into that little little side hole. Let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, it's because they're underneath me. I'm like, so let's see. What... My fault. Let go. Oh. Look at that. So much stuff over there. Oh, and this is like the uh, the f secret number one with the RPG. Okay, I see what you're doing there. I don't know if going through this vent is the right idea. Let's use this because we do know where another one is. This will just let me fall down here gracefully. So I can get down here, and then I can go over here. So let's try to see if we can find that street level access.
right, let's go down this middle section here. Clear out some more areas. We're gonna do a little bit more exploring here. Hunt down some uh, some of these sentry turrets. Buffalo Wild Wings Grilling Bar. All right, so there's another way around. It looks like I could probably climb up here too, right? And you would climb up there and go up there, go up here. I guess you could open this. Yeah, these were the guys that were shooting me in here. Interesting use of this on the ground. Leads on there. So the vent solution is maybe tied here. I think it would be I didn't want to do that. See of these, which like sure I could accept as detailing, but it's like so so I guess maybe, maybe. Mm, okay, let's clear out this middle section first. Because there's that med kit we might want to grab too. Excuse me, I'm trying to... Thank you. Ooh. See, with most of the guns is not far from the wrong way, dead end, but you'll get some height. Dead end. Oh. 
Can I jump on this? Can't jump on that. Can't jump on that. Alright. I want to say it's right here. That's kind of what I'm trying to get to is in the in the garbage here. Even if that's not something, I still don't want to go there, you know? Like, yeah. I don't know if your tips are helping or leading me on a goose chase because it's just the delay. <clears throat> Da, 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 da. All right, let me, let me examine my thoughts here. Let's so I can jump across there. Give us a moment. Let's catch our catch our not breath, but uh, train of thoughts. Oh, being Snoop is oh, it's this one right here. I can see it. Yeah. Okay, I see what you're talking about. Probably be easier to do this and then jump over here. I lied. Oh, wait, I have steroids. What am I doing? Okay, and then this is this is the counterpoint. This is the secret from the uh, original as well. Oh, did you just put like every gun in here? Not ever again, but. What a wild little chair. All right, secret done. So we still got to get inside that thing there. Well, I guess not. Maybe that that's not it. No, well, because we can get on top of it, but I don't... How do we get... We got to get on top of that. We got to jump it out. Oh, yeah. Forgot. So maybe that's all we need to do. Unless they didn't put mutant rabbits and hares. This is Shadow Warrior. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay. So I'm pretty sure then we got most of the stuff in this section, right? Unless there's could be like a, a weird secret or so. Uh, oh, we were going to go on top of this one right here because that, that might be a secret as well on that side. So we'll get that out of the way. Once I figure out how to... Nope, not... Okay, so not, not a thing. Okay. Uh, did we check out everything in here? Yes-ish. Yes-ish.
interesting for Lisa. Demolition. Do you know who you are? No, not personally. Treat people with kindness. What does this one say? Oh, same thing. It's like a exclamation mark. Ah. Okay, we'll clean out this side of the street. Or not. not done cleaning out this. Oh, that has a side here. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, got a blue key card. Blue key card. That's poop. Switch that to open this. Okay. This is all also weird that this would be in here. Like just a just a couch, you know? Like, yeah, have a seat in the women's bath bathroom. So now we're in the movie theater. Oh god. Look at that popcorn machine. I remember you posting about that. I'm loving the little destructibility. I'm blending in all the areas. Or connecting, I should say. So we have the blue key, so we can open up that. But it seems like we probably didn't really need the blue key, because we're in here anyways. This true is probably going to be something find somewhere. Ow. People got health everywhere. Ah, okay, well, that's good to know. I actually like that uh, concept. That's a cool idea. I like that. Let's 
kind of like a uh, shaky grounds when they did that the yellow key card skip if you don't use it but uh i did not know that at first well i guess you're not really supposed to But we're going to see it all as best we can. Putting all of these turrets everywhere. What sane person? It's like uh, I need a turret on top of my my projector in case somebody tries to steal my IMAX print of Interstellar. Oh, I like yeah. I like just putting a pistol there to make it look like that. Cool. Nice. Hey, look, it's blast radius. Blast radius. That's a that's a callback. Bubba. Virtual Boy 2047 corner. I, I, I like the turrets just from a gameplay perspective. Yeah. Just obviously. Hey, I just saw a pickup. I could drop down there. Let's drop down there. if anyone will be playing uh, this map in the year 2047. I think people should play that map. If there's a thing that says a year, look at that key card. I like it. Using it as like a little visa kind of thing or like a master card somebody dropped. That's a little disconcerting. Um, watch what projector switch does closely. Watch what the projector switch does closely. There's a, a little time puzzle. Okay, I'm going to go back. So far, like, I keep thinking that you're... We seem to be hitting all the same beats, including the... Uh... Here, use this. Uh, it, like, the, the secrets. So I'm, I'm assuming we're going to see the same secrets in the general areas. Whoa. In the same general area. Imagine getting like a couple rockets in the face and you live. Big cops. Beefy boys. Alright, so we're gonna go back to the projector room in a minute. Just wanna make sure we got, got as much here clear as we can. Probably save because that's smart. We should pretend we know what we're doing. Who wants some? Yeah. Okay. 
Project her. We're going to save right here. Hear it. All right, let me see here. Aha. Uh -huh. I understand. Like, to be fair, like, this is pretty, pretty impressive. I like these as, like, speakers. That's pretty much everything that I can think of in here. Huh, never mind. I lied. Oh, wait. No, this is got blown up through here. leave the cinema. Ah, uh, now we have pig cops. That's not what I wanted. I want this. Oh my god. Alright, let's group these bad boys up. Come on, have your buddy. It's a buddy system. There we go. Gotta pick up to my left. What a. That did not land. Hearing him. Where is it? I would like to look at this building more. Something, something peculiar. Could be just because it's made out of sprites, but we'll see.
So I'm thinking, I'm thinking. See if we can get on top of here. Maybe not. I just had a little bit of a clipping where I could see in here. No, it just make me think something's there. Alright. Any other buildings we tried to go in? Like, we have the... Uh, I guess we didn't go all the way over to that side. And if we had some steroids, we could travel there faster. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's just start using this. Just because we have so much of it, and I, I keep forgetting it. Oh, this is where the red key is. Okay. Does this open? No. So then what was over in that corner? Emma, that's what we're after. Good, 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 good. Uh, okay, so it just looks like some stuff over here. Some, some nice lights. I feel like maybe. I like this. I like these lights on this building. Oh, grab some ammo, I guess. Was there anything in this building? No, that's where it starts. So there's probably just some casual items. It's probably just the building number. Just in case, you never know. Um, I think that's it. Did we jump on that building just to see if there's anything on it? Yeah, it's a nice little blend of sprite work, shading and lighting, and those use of those uh Yeah, we did go on here. Yeah, okay. So we did. Uh the use of just jump down here. Those little I don't know, light auras, the lens flare kind of thing for the lighting actually works really well too uh, for that section. Grab some armor. So we have the red key, which is in that section over there. There is another escalator in here, but I don't think it, it worked. It's probably something that the red key access like this yeah because it keeps showing me it yeah let's not use that just yet 
max 57. So let's go. I didn't go into the parking garage. I wonder how I'm going to get in here. Probably from over here. Look at that. That was cool. So many pipe bombs on this map. I feel like I, I need to fish for for stuff. Steroid jump across or jetpack lighter mm, makes sense. Okay, lots of pick up. Let's let's adventure around this. Donkey Kong this. Over here. Hello. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh... I don't have a, an expander to really deal with this situation properly. Okay, okay, I'm picking up something. Jump on this. Jump. Jump on this. Oh. Grab this. No. This. Alright, let's try this again. Uh, there's something I want to see up here. There's a little, little thing that may or may not be a thing. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe these aren't really defined. I was thinking you jump on this, jump across there to get on that. Would that matter? Would that be a thing? That's too high. Alright, so let's try to do the steroid jump then. Yeah, oh yeah, it's there. Yeah, I can jump that. No problem. Just need to get up here. Which means I need to get on this one. And this one. 
This is a slope, so I'll probably screw this up. Never mind. That's what I thought. Like, yeah, I, I thought that was going to be like you jump across there, go over there. Yeah. I think visually it's just cool as is, but I also just assumed that's what was going to happen. There's my guy. There it is. Now we can take out the sentry drones with ease. Not really, because we only have 40 ammo. Groovy. I am king of the world, Jack. I like this... Uh, this vista. I know I said it earlier, but that's still a, a good little thing. Do do do. What is this music from? Realizing this is still the entirety of LA Meltdown and we're uh, still in the city. Are you not dead? Yeah, that, I, I, I think they're great. I think miniatures are great. Is this, what the, I shot that thing like 500 times. map looks weird. It is pretty wild. It's got that Neo future looking around. Yeah, high trees and sling shade. Well, that's cool. Well, what a mess. Come here. Ah, much better. <coughs> I wonder if you could, you probably could, make a toilet that's uh, specifically one that, that would be uh, like a secret, just because that one's like oddly shaded, you know? Is that? A floating square of doom. Episode 1, level 2, does just that. Is it though? Is it the toilet that activates it? Like, are you talking about the one that leads into the sewers? Is that what we're talking about?
or making them invisible. That's a good point. Invisible uh, sprites do offer uh, a lot of little unique experiences, I think. I like this bar area. I'm kind of glad I did replay as best I could through the uh, original. Just so I can uh, kind of remember where some of the stuff is. I see you there. Alright, let's see how we can lower that here. Nailed it. Uh, certain board modern making the system more elaborate. Uh, touch plate doesn't seem to, to unlock. There's a. Uh, I forget what I was. What, what level I was playing where all of a sudden. Did I just get hurt by something? Oh, who's shooting me? Oh, he's way down there. Um, and I was, I couldn't find one of the secrets and I just, it blew my mind because I felt like I should know where many of the secrets are in the first episode. Okay, and this probably connects back to the room, I'm assuming? Yeah, yeah, okay. Which at that point, oh. Let's not use that then. Oh. Episode one, level two. I had a fence. Or at least the setup used to be different, something like that. Halo and Destiny share the same universe? I don't think that's true to the rights ownership, but as like Bungie putting nods in it, wouldn't be surprised to me. Or making it so that you could, in theory, loosely tie them together. I wouldn't, that wouldn't shock me either. Saw that. Come get some. All right, let's get some health. We're going back in there. Usually, you can lock secret sectors. I don't know what you mean by that. King of the Imagine Hank Hill trying to combat an alien invasion. Oh, there's a pickup thing. Oh, I didn't hit that button. I feel like health distribution is pretty good in here. 
the sector won't be counted or displayed the message until it's unlocked. I could maybe see why that might be useful. So let's go to the DJ booth here. Step you up, save 200. Using the manhole covers as, as, as records. I approve. Floating square is one of the rotated lights that trigger the wrong, uh, it's tagged to the wrong pivot point, so it just floats. Yeah, I figured something like that was happened, like, it's, it's like the equivalent of that, uh, here, give me a second here, I gotta pull up this picture. this this is from rot remember good old rot where like a sector would break out of bounds and it would display this message and be like i'm free but i guess it's not gonna crash hopefully not but i remember i remember this Making sure I actually turn that off. <laughs> Look at that stream lighting. So I know there's, uh, yeah. I'm going to put a save right here. Just because I, I know there used to be a secret in here. A few, like in the original. And I don't know if that's, that's the case here. But... I like this whole room. What is happening? Why is that? Oh, is it supposed to be like the electric chair from Death Row? Oh, yep, it is. I was wondering how this was going to transition. Oh, no.
So this won't drop down instead. So how do I open this guy? How do I open this guy? Maybe I don't. Because it's different now. Okay, good. Well, just in case, I did. I did backup save. I never know when a level is going to do that thing where you can't backtrack to get a secret if you really wanted to. So, I'm trying to I'm trying to plan for it. What did that do? What did that do? What does this do? Let's leave it on for now, I guess. Oh, maybe the force field? Oh, okay, yep. I was, I was just thinking that. Alright, guys. Didn't know the monk dropped atomic health either until the other day when I, I, I killed him and he dropped atomic health. And I was like, oh, I did not need to use that uh, medkit. Oh, well. Giant candle. Oh, so it can be any, it, can, it can be anything. That's kind of cool. That's cool. It's a nice little tiny lighting there. Who's this one for? Lee? That's Ken. Ken Silverman. Okay. Like these little little tributes. Okay, three more secrets. We're actually doing really good here. For for secrets, I thought I was going to do a little harder. Oh, there's an Octobrain. I was wondering where they're going to show up. Right? I was trying to, I was trying to remember... 
where everything is. So I'm like, okay, maybe there will be a secret here. Oh, would this be the level skip part? Like, if technically I did this, I would have been able to skip the level. Or skip some of it. The explosion stuff in Duke is just so satisfying, right? Like... So, why'd you go to... So Because you're doing Shrapnel City right now, right? Like, you're doing a D-make of that? Did you try to do Lunar Apocalypse, or did you just, like... You know what? I have a better idea with city maps. Because, like, you do cities really well, so. Yeah, it's like fireworks. Okay, so I see that there. I'm assuming that's just if you fall in, but we can always check that out to see if that's the thing. In case of emergency? Okay. Oh, I did not expect that. Okay. It's a force field there. Let's see, is there anything here? No. Shot real city. Yep. Whew. Slightly tempted to remake Dark Side myself, but never found a good enough excuse to try i think um stuff like that like remaking or reimagining stuff that already existed original levels and things like that uh, it's a good launching point especially if you just kind of want to play around because you have such a good template to already begin with so it lets some i just realized that i'm i'm gonna reload here let's try it back here um you got such a, a good start point to bounce off of that I, I feel like it would just be a good little experiment. Especially if you want to just kind of get more familiar with mapping. Taking apart old maps and then putting them back together and playing with them. I, I always like that they let you edit the original maps as well, right? Excuse me. as a full city but still the way you kind of that's why i was kind of curious how this is going to be done especially when i was replaying it is i kind of forgot how you branch off like when you get kidnapped you go to the prison then you're out of the prison then you have that whole subsection i'm like how are you going to mold this into to one big map but when you did the first city part you you still see and recognize a lot of areas where you're like okay this is definitely a reference to like the hollywood holocaust per, part this is a reference to the red light district um the transition to get to the death row thing is an interesting way to do it not bad but it's just it's just like okay it makes sense that then you kind of seamlessly get here and you kind of see uh in the outer boundaries in the city spot where i feel like you end up going in like level i don't know what level is like five or six with the sub stuff but we'll find out without coming up with hugely unique ideas of your own. Like, you, you can go pretty big and imaginative, but you can also just use it to to just experiment. <clears throat> Holy cow. Uh, like what the exact ingredients were in which uh, Moses.
Great spread. Yeah. Just to get the feel of it. 100% agree. Alright. Let's save here. So now that I understand the assignment better. Interesting. Oh, yeah, we got the claw thing, too, that we're going to have to do. Wait, that's but that's kind of the cool thing is just seeing how, especially when it if you're if somebody's playing it and they're familiar with the original work. I don't know why I did it this way. Why did I jump like this? Um, it's just seeing things you kind of recognize, seeing how they came up with a different solution where it's like familiar yet not. So this is the claw part that we're getting to. So there's the claw part. I wonder like how much of this 3D Realms was like, we want a claw that picks you up, so figure out a way to do it. Or was it like, we found something that does this by mistake, and we made something around the mistake to make it work. card in there. I feel like I should have used that med kit first. Alright. Whatever. We'll live. This is where I start to get a little hazy on uh, some of the original secrets, so I, I don't know I'll, how much I'll remember to try to look out for as a reference. I do like stuff like this, though. Uh, let's, why am I doing that? Right, but like, what made them think about this? Did they think about the idea first, or was it something that somebody realized the code allowed them to do it? So let's make it a crane, right? That's my my curiosity. What's the chicken egg situation here?
Duke 2 having cranes? Huh. It's kind of weird. You said you tell me that, and I, like I, I kind of, like it doesn't sound impossible. But I, you're right. I also don't know where it would either. So we still have that underwater section. Oh, I thought I definitely, definitely thought I hit that button. Definitely thought I hit that button. Stop it. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Duke Nukem 2 is one that, like, I, I played so much at Duke Nukem 2, but I only had the shareware, so I didn't really get any far in it. And I, that's, I should definitely replay it. I, I had the full version of Duke Nukem 1 and Duke 3D. Or did Duke 3D come with the full version of Duke 2 as well? Didn't it have some of the originals on it? Or maybe it was just the shareware. So maybe I did have the full release. I also played Surreal Cyberpunk as a kid, and do they have cranes? Sometimes I mix those st stuff like that. Nailed it. Oh, now we're in the kind of prison section. Uh, I know there's the 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 toxic water underneath we still have to do, but I don't know if this is like something we're gonna find out here. I had the weird jetpack platform too, and this psych sky car thing. I definitely remember the the the, the sky car. Yeah, that was the that was the elevator ones, right? Interesting. Well, that's still not open. Okay. Red. Red room. Let's go in here first. Oh, I like these little lockers. And with Duke Sound, is that the head bump seems to have higher priority than anything else? Is sound. Are you talking about this? Oh. Well, oh, I got I got stuck. There was like something preventing me from going backwards. It was like a. Oh man, I'm way back here.
Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Well, it's because dupe take pri takes priority. So I just want to... Uh, I don't know when this would get unlocked. I don't know if this is a, a future thing I'm going to deal with. Or if we're going to find something in here. Maybe I can interact with. Maybe that's something I'll come back to. Because there's still that door over there that's going to open. I wonder how that works. I've never really looked at it. Like, how does it know you're hitting the back? I guess it's only if the back sprite is present, like one of the frames. It's like, okay, if you press the use key on this, then like, we're, you're you're pressing the button. So I guess I answered my own question. I think so. Do I need to? Yeah. Might as well use the shotgun then. Yeah, let's probably just shut the door. Only caught that. I don't know which question I was asking anymore. Unless you're refer referencing like where I'm thinking about in the level, which is me speaking about uh, speaking aloud, really, just so I, I remember where I'm going. This one being red throws me off, so I keep thinking there's something, something here. Maybe not. Um, is where the these guys are. Like there's that force field underwater, and I keep thinking we're gonna get something there. To unlock it, but maybe that's later on. Okay, so we went. Let's go this way. Oh, I was getting stuck on that. That's what it was. Something was made. I thought I heard something was made. I shall have to remember. Hail to the king, baby. I have the memory of a goldfish sometimes. Yeah, okay. Well, I like that as a towel texture. Wait, is this even... Oh yeah, the force field is on. I was supposed to say... Nice. 
So I wonder... Ow. Okay, so now we can get through here. Oh, and now we're back here. Look at that. It's all coming together now. Yeah, I always love when stuff like this happens and it starts to fold back into yourself with all these shortcuts. That's always great. Especially if you're going to make backtracking important to the map, too. Um, but also just... to make uh I don't have steroids hmm. hmm okay well whatever oh the one thing I was wondering how it was made but that, that this wasn't a level question I was talking about, I think the, this just reminded me, the pig cop tanks. I was wondering how they make it so they, uh, they explode when you're hitting the back. But then I realized it's probably just, it recognizes you're looking, the back sprite is in view. And uh, it, it acts accordingly. secrets to this puzzle. That's what I'm thinking. crack in there, so something's definitely going to happen. Somewhere along here. The game can pick up if an enemy is looking at the player, so I guess office is also true. That makes sense. If you really have to be viewing the back then versus it just working right off so you can... I think the best way to do it is, is if they could just somehow or the simplest way in my mind is, is just that if they I like this the little sprites of shadows um, is just 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 that like you would just be like okay you press the use key when this sprite is on screen which is the back sprite which would make it easier I also like this little thing. Ah. Damn, I'm good. Groovy. Why do they keep wanting to go up there?
Okay, let me just put some thought to this. So, so yeah, there's a little crack there, so I'm assuming we're going to go into here. Unless we can shoot through there already? No. Okay, so we're probably going to come back here. So we can do the use key. Guess we'll get some ammo while we're here. County Sheriff's Department, Twin Tower Correctional Facility. Okay, okay, okay. better. Did we not go in that side room? Oh yeah, we didn't. No, we didn't. So let's go let's go through there. It was, it was in here. We just didn't go to the other side. I like these benches. It's a neat use of that texture there. Wouldn't have expected that. Why is this? See, this is like this. Why is this like this here? But not there. I guess it doesn't really matter. And then there's this. It's like, why is this just right here? I'm probably like looking too deeply into things. I'm just like, there must be a reason. There doesn't have to be. Just wanna make sure there's nothing there, nothing there. All right, let's go. Okay, I can breathe now. That was pretty brutal. I will. I will say this seems like really well paced so far. Like I, I don't. I, I haven't died a ton, which is I guess a plus. Unless I just finally understand what I'm doing after all these streets. But I, I feel like I've always had health. Health has been very evenly distributed. Uh, I seem to always have ammo. But maybe that's due to the selection of enemies that you're choosing. Like, so far, I haven't really felt the need to use a lot of weapons like the freeze thrower and stuff like that. A huge ton. Uh, so, it was... And, and where Blast Radius, I felt like I was always running out of ammo where I had to, to find stuff. And health, sometimes. Uh, but I also was very, very terrible at playing it back then. I didn't understand a lot of little strategies. Okay, so this goes back here. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, I understand. So I'm 
economic health down there. Oh, look at that. I have a plan. Differences in the scorpion tanks. Uh, I guess, yeah. I guess the point you did have those enemies. I, I do have to take that into consideration. Because, yeah, there was a lot of hit scanning enemies that would just tear you apart in like three seconds. I saw all those troopers appear over there and I was hoping they would fly towards me so I could expand them and explode them. I guess that's going to be a future me problem though. Give me a lot of shrinker ammo so maybe we should use that. Blair witching on me. Didn't want to look. Before I go down there, let's just take a quick peek at where... Okay, this is probably going to lead back to... Okay, there's an atomic health up there. So let's grab that. Here. Instantly get annihilated. Oh, I thought that opened. What did that unlock then? Maybe just that? Uh, Scorpion tanks, though, I will say, uh, not so bad after a little bit. Still haven't used these night vision goggles, and I remember needing them for a secret in the original. Blew up the cliffs. Okay, that's all that was doing? Okay. I thought so, but once you say unlocked, I figure I'm unlocking a door. This is deep.
I use. Sometimes their uh, the little echo they do throws me off. I think I'm gonna die because there's a something sneaking up behind me. Oh, did I run out of protective boots? It's unfortunate. Um. I like how you don't need protective boots for going underwater. You know what? Let's let's use this. Look at that, that's pretty cool. I always like to where you see the underwater from like a safe structure. So we just need to turn on this shortcut. Do so from somewhere. Else. Maybe up here. Probably in there, actually. Some protective boots. Good, good, good. Really needed that. Let's get up here. Where is it? Where is it? Cool. But how do we unlock that shortcut? Maybe that also unlocked it. We can go check, I guess. Sure. How rarely that hydroponic substation has appeared in an area that's actually appropriate. Look, you got you got to do what you got to do with the, the limited textures you got. 
And freezer ammo. I don't know what I'd be using freezer ammo on. Like, maybe octobrains, I guess. Pick hops would probably be okay. Uh, curiously, Big Boy did it, which may explain a few things about the way of making things. You know, I still... Maybe I'll go play around. Lighthouse one again, because I think I missed a couple secrets, but there's like some stuff like the Delta. There's that do Delta section where we meant that met that mental patient that was in a straitjacket and I, it never had a purpose will you be playing another map after this or making stuff in mapster i don't i don't know yet it depends on how long it's going to take me um i'm not against playing another map mapster i don't fully have a, a plan on what to how i'm going to build stuff quite yet so usually what i'll do is i'll play uh, i'll build stuff on sundays which is like tomorrow um which i might do and maybe I'll do it like a dedicated stream for that. And that way I can kind of plan some actual stuff out that I want to build. Uh, just since as fun as it is, maybe watching me kind of meander about Mapster. Um, a lot of the times it, it, it'll lead to me just spending hours and hours just choosing textures. But if I, I think if I have a better goal for how to build it, like maybe specific sections or layouts, at least I can experiment with stuff like that. So I don't know yet. We'll see. I did have um, a bunch of maps I originally had planned for today uh, instead of this one. And I just couldn't think of... Um, I just couldn't think of a good thumbnail for it in such short notice by the time I was making it. So I switched. But maybe I'll do one of them. Because they're older maps, so I can't imagine them being as long. Maybe we should go get some expander ammo now. Well, that's cruel. You just spawn the things where I'm trying to go. Like that little little detail of just adding that that waterfall there. Is there any more expander ammo back here? Thought there was. Maybe not. Just to save some of my protective boots. We'll run along the edges here. Three more secrets. Such a drone would just remind me of the story of the guy who threw a stick of dynamite. His dog bought it back. Oh no.
Oh. Wonder if I have heard of that. It's kind of vaguely sounds familiar as well. I'm assuming that unlocks that. This looks too high to jump, but if I could, I would jump on there and go up there. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe we'll come back. Okay, all right, so we're in here now. Okay, okay. I think we're doing good. Happened in an episode of Monarch. I'm used to watch. Do I want to go this way first, or do I want to go the other way? I think one of the things that fascinated me about like reimaginings too, uh, early on, especially, especially since we're talking about, uh, especially last week where we mentioned, uh, why do I always forget the channel when I'm trying to mention references to channels? Uh, b -b 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 a second here. I want to say Red Nukem, but I just want to hundred percent make sure I am talking about the Nukem guy, that one. Red Nukem something else, I think. Uh where he was covering the uh the Duke 64 differences. And and you realize that they added enemies from like they added the alien drone and some other stuff into the original episodes and made those slight changes. But even that just changes the dynamic, just changing some enemies that were in the original that are now in it. Um as well as the weapons. It just changes the dynamic and, and the airflow. Hey. Okay, so let's not go this way just yet. I want to go along the side over there first. Should I grab that expander ammo, maybe, though? Maybe do that. there. Let's blew myself up. Oh, they're coming in. They're coming in. I didn't think they could come in.
wild. It's great. Okay. I wonder if this is just for fun or if we're going to go there. DN64 were pretty jarring. Scaling was off, and it seemed like whoever put them. I could see that. Like I, I, I have very limited experience from my playtime there, but it's it's one of those things that I feel like. Because I think they did have a very short development period. I wonder how different it would have been if they had a little bit more time. Because then maybe they'd adjust some scaling issues. Uh, placement, make some additional changes, because a lot of the ideas they had, I liked. Especially after watching that retrospective and realizing, like, hey, yeah, you'd see even more of the areas from the old maps uh, in the new ones, or see areas from the future maps in uh, prior maps before you get there. Which Duke 3D did do, but they kind of expanded upon it, and I just thought that was kind of cool. But it's 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 another interesting idea for a reimagining or a remake, if you will. Such a shame about that kill a ton collection that they they were making before everything got bought out and World Tour. I, I don't absolutely hate World Tour the episode, even though yeah, as people have mentioned, the art style does feel a little bit more cartoony, a little bit more in line with I guess maybe. Uh, Gearbox's version or idea of what Duke is, but even then, it's not it's not bad. I think it's pretty good. Other than those new enemies, kind of were a little rough and could have been better done. Okay, so now we can get back here if we wanted to. Don't know if I will yet. Man, we're doing really good for health. Hundred percent med kits, so we don't even need that. Oh, protective boots. Oh, we already have them. Okay. I like Word Tour because it's the best possible commercial for Atomic. I just think they should have included all the stuff. I think they should have included... I really like... This is a nice little bridge. I guess we're limited in textures you could put as like a side. I noticed that for your stairs too. They just kind of float. That's a, a complaint of how grand everything is. Oh, people are falling. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, okay. It's a devastator. Apologize for not being able to see anything as I do this. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Fine, eat my quartz. Um... Oh, 
Oh no, 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 I didn't expect this. Guess. Let's all group up. Find your partners. Come on, everybody. Let's try this again. This is where I'm going to die, a bunch. <laughs> it's because I want to use the explosives. Um, okay. Oh, I thought I had more expanded ammo. Let's go up here. Oh my god. Maybe I just need the high ground. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong in life. I think I... Maybe if I blow up the rocket, the rocket will save me. I don't know if that was a good idea. Yeah, you know what? I should I should probably use the holodeck. You're right. Blow it out your ass. see what's happening here. Okay, okay. I'm not going to do that quite yet, though. I don't know if this is a good idea, actually. That one's a different color. Why? Sure, okay. Well, whatever. Let's see what's down here. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, so let's see what blowing everything up did. Oh, they're all still alive. Okay. Wow, I, I just feel like every time I always try to use the Hollow Duke, I failed miserably. Like it just, it just didn't do anything. But you're right, that that was really well. I, I didn't. I should have should have had better faith in the Hollow Duke. Oh, 
Okay, now because this is lower, I can get across there. Okay, okay, I get it. Let's grab some ammo, maybe. I don't know who's trying to shoot me. Somebody's building something outside. Hmm. Holy shit. Nailed it. Yeah, there's not like a ton of onslaughts that I, I really remember from the originals. Did I use up all my medikit? No. Okay, so we can grab some atomic health from here. I guess, what's our ammo like? Oh. So we're pretty much max. Who wants some? So I was when I was playing through um, Lot LA Meltdown this week to to prepare for this a little bit, and because I'm working on something separately on the side with the original uh, levels that I, I might do something with to to add some additional content during the week on the channel is I never played it on anything higher than whatever. No, I don't want to exit this. Uh, whatever the the second difficulty is. So now that I, I'm playing it through on Come Get Some, I'm like, man, I just I, I didn't realize how many enemies showed up so much earlier than anticipated, as well as um, how many more enemies there were. I was kind of kind of shocked by that. I went to hit J like I had a jetpack. Nobody should follow Cancer Mouse, that's a bad idea. Get rid of these guys just so I can see it a little easier. Alright, we'll stay right here. Cancer Mouse. Simi. Hi. That's sick. Nice. At the start of so what? Weird to me. Yeah, like I I agree. I th I forgot what video I I saw. Maybe it was like even civvies where they mentioned how like the introduction to the pig cop bursting out of the wall. I think that's a better introduction. I I think they should have held off on the pig cops uh, until that moment.
<laughs> Didn't expect me to do this now, did you? I do like the reference, though. Just want to make sure there's no secrets. still so I guess we can still get out This is pretty cool. Look at that. I still don't have a jetpack, but you gave me a hole where I can get back into the original city. I'm missing two secrets, which is pretty good. And we're dying. We died. We died. I just want to see... I'm pretty sure where there's... I, I want to grab a fresh pair of protective boots. Um, so I know where they are. They're over here, if I recall. Yeah, I haven't died a, a ton. Like, even the deaths that I have had... Oh, maybe I did grab it. Maybe it was up here. Um, I was expecting to. Maybe, maybe it's just because I have PTSD from Blast Radius still. So I was kind of still expecting to die more. Maybe I did grab all the protective boots that existed. Did I grab? Hmm. I had a pair that was unused, unsullied, if you will. Maybe I was wrong. lap around here, I guess, just to make sure. Yeah, I guess it did. Oh, well.
We're gonna make it, guys. We're gonna make it. <laughs> what map will you be playing after this? Um, depending on time, I'm not like necessarily going anywhere right now. Uh, but I just don't know how long these maps are. I have... I don't know how... The ones I was originally going to think about playing is I I still... I have Dogville 2012. I did get that, just in case. Uh, I did get uh, a map called... Something or other. Uh, oh, I got City Full of Alien Scum. I think that's by the same Dogville guy, though. And Aquatic Hive are the three maps that I downloaded. Not that I'm going to do all of them, but I, I started kind of downloading stuff that I was interested in playing. So maybe one of those three. But it, I'm also not against another uh, suggestion for for maybe a little, a little bit of a shorter experience. We'll take a brief, brief stream break so I can grab a, a snack and refresh. Right after I build this level, and then we'll we'll do a, a, a at least a smaller little little guy. <laughs> this fucking guy. sucks. <clears throat> oh, man. Oh, no. That's... I pressed the jump button. I did press the jump button. Oh, no. time my uh... save here I think I I did do exceptional
I want to take out that turret. I think there's going to be one in there. Yeah, there is. I think there's one right there as well, maybe? I don't know what that is. Snake Pliskin. Hi. Hi, yeah. Oh, are you? Oh, yeah? <laughs> what, what words are those? <clears throat> Might be both. My, that's been my throat for like 5,000 years now. Building stuff. Okay. Toilet dark. Oh, hey, I remember that from the last time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, not slopes, so I can jump on them. Yeah, when you have like little slopes like this where it's at an angle, Duke has a weird issue where he sticks to the ground instead of jumping. It's just the way the engine works for some reason, so jumping on that stuff is hard, so. This is the same one. This is the one where they took the entire first episode and merged it into one. <laughs> Keep hearing a subway, but there's no subway. <laughs> kind of. Let's see what I got over. Take them all out with me. What are you guys doing down here? It's okay. I'm pretty sure I saved pretty good. I'm not that. I'm, I'm, oh my god! <laughs> pretty sure I saved. Pretty sure. Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> Some uh, Sonic Adventure has a similar quirk with slopes, jumps, and plays. Does it? I don't really. I, I like. I very faintly remember Sonic Adventure. Hi. Hi. If could share a similar out. Yeah. Not a, not a very nice yeah. That's that's how. Well, not that late, but even me, I woke up. But I, again, I knew what was going to happen. I woke up the exact same time as I always do. No matter when I w go to sleep, I will wake up at the same time. Okay, so these guys are going to be pretty easy. Oh, a jetpack. Well, don't. That's not inappropriate. Alright, let's save here. We got to. Oh, let's get rid of that. A little rocket, a little turret. And then we're. Are these big ones? Oh, oh, I was not expecting this. Oh, no. Are we flying? We're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're gonna strategize here. Mm. 
my god, I can't... Is he big? I don't. I, I can't tell if he's the big, a uh, big one. I guess we can find out by just shrinking him. No, he's a big guy. Can't jump while it's going up. Okay, so we save here. Got this. We have full jetpack, and if he's a big guy, is he big? Like I don't can't tell if he's big or I'm just bad at aiming. Oh yeah, you're you're big. Let's 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 peruse. Since we got a jetpack. Don't know if this was a great idea. Down here. Did these rise and I just didn't notice them? Probably nothing down there. What with the jetpack is that the entire live house to be built around how the jetpack uh, works. Yeah, but that's why you, in my opinion, it's like you use the jetpack as like a secret 
or uh, an end level thing so it doesn't break the level. Um, I expected to be able to to go on there. Let's go back up here for a sec. I just want to take a look around real quick. So there's now anything I, I I'd be missing. Two secrets. So we never ended up going over there. Oh, maybe I, I this was just a secret I didn't claim because I died. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. We didn't go in here. Considering every item you possibly put in map. Yeah, it's true. Item placement is very important. Same thing with weapon placement, right? It's just, uh, especially if you're doing pistol starts, it's like the concept that you should be able to pistol start every single map. But at the same time, maybe you also have a balance for the fact that, yeah, if you were in a prior map, you might be able to do a bunch of weird stuff. Right. Yeah, then I went in there, and that's a secret. That was Atomic Health. Oh, the big parking lot? I'm pretty sure I got that one. I'll go check. I thought I got the night vision goggles in the cinema. Thanks, Kat. Thanks for just walking across my keyboard. Like, Move, move. Have you tried Big Boo's Haunt map yet? Got a lot of other maps to play before that one. I don't really have like an order, so uh, no. Was it you who mentioned that one? Is that the one you made? Maybe I'll look up that one. Uh, 
Night vision goggles. The red curtain hallways meet. Inside the center? Ah. 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 Yes. Okay, now... The downside. I've fallen, and I can't get up. Uh, I can get through that, but I don't have a jetpack anymore, so I can't get back up there. So I guess I can try to... I'll just kill him from out, from down here, and hopefully he, he won't care. Wow, he's really good with that. like this is some great scale when you can see so much across the map I'm not sure if that's actually registering as hitting him we'll find out we'll let just unload all these on him and see how that works out nice nailed it So I just want to look at the little 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 facades that we made. Or you made, little skylines. So far that might be my crap. Uh go away. Um, that might be my favorite map you made so far. I'd have to think back, because there might be, like, a blast radius map that I, I, I like more. But, like, I don't know, maybe it's because I d didn't die as much. Big Boo's Haunt? Okay, maybe we'll do that one then. Let me, let me, this is what I want to look at. So let's do a D and show map on here. That shadow looks like a penis. A, a very small, stubby little, little thing. What? I thought I, I thought I, oh, I forgot to turn invincibility on. The ending of this? Of this map? Zoom all the way out.
Well, we, we did pretty good because we saw, ended up seeing, like, everything. So the only real interesting stuff here that we didn't get to check out is, like, the skybox stuff here. What is that? Oh, the, and, you know, I'll try, yeah, let's do this. I, I want to... I was picking up what you were putting down before you even put it down. That was my thought. I was like, I want to go see this. This little room here. You're not supposed to be here. That's a nice little reference to the original as well. Wish I could have had an underground. I don't I don't hate this either, especially... I, I, I think this is pretty good. I don't know what I would have done... differently unless you like fought these mini battle lords like maybe you you, you, if you were running low on walls then this makes sense too but, but like after you're fighting all these battle lords it's like maybe you go inside of the ship so then you can have like a a more intensive battle um so which ones uh track up the shaker sh rocket or fly to see the sign on the collapsed building near the bar Into this shrink. What's the bar? Is the bar over here? <clears throat> Not this one, right? Which collapse? Which collapse building are you talking about? Oh, wait, that, that one. This one collapsed. I forgot this whole thing blew up, and I I kind of missed it. hide in there for me Look at these little skybox thingies tell Roosevelt I saw this in the distance I thought that was pretty nice little detail just this crack thing just to add some lighting and some 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 differential stuff uh, and I want to check out the area you don't go to, which is over here. You can put room inside, put a secret room inside the ceiling on the floor of a regular room when you're making a map. Oh. Sorry, this game is uh, sufficiently 3D. Secret patches don't only have to be in the walls, even if you're not using Tror or whatever. I wonder, like, what, what, what I would use that for. Maybe I'd have to see an example of what you're describing to understand how I would use that. I don't think I noticed this. Central assignment vision. Oh, is that what that start that causes that? Okay, that makes sense. It's a good little reference. Yep, we've officially seen everything I think we need to see. That's a great map. Real solid. Okay, so the general consensus, big booze, right? Big booze. Big booze. I do remember this map getting brought up, so. Big booze haunt. Okay. 
That was really quality. And what are some... Why can't I find it? Bruce Hawk, you can 3D. Here's the release. Is the Duke Forum one uh, accurate? Like, it's not like, is there, an out, is there a better to date one? A more up to date one? MSDN. The other one, a Duke repository. Um, give me one second to get it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I got it. Let me do a couple of screenshots here. And then I can do a, a quick little, little post for this. Like a good little boy. That looks pretty good. Let's get some indoor interiors from the bar. Maybe. Yeah, I do like this bar. A little bit indoors and outdoors. Uh, maybe one of here. Actually, I want I want this building too. I like I, I do like this side building. Lame Duke one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Still, I still, I, I did watch a bunch of stuff for the Lame Duke. So it's pretty cool seeing how how different everything was. Uh, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want to do here? Let's go maybe back here. A little something subtle. Some subtle. Get some of the this guy over here.
up here. I wish Duke would fly faster. I guess I... Is it the trick, like, he falls fast using steroids? Okay, all right, all right. I want one of the... Then we'll do... Some canyon ones. Oh no. Oh no, did I break the color palette? Because of no clipping? There we go. this angle to and then I'll get one of I even like stuff like this so maybe maybe we'll do something in here as well the arcade And up here. That would have been a lot cooler if it was down there. Maybe. Cool. We post this. Oh, they just released the trailer for the Fall TV show. Check that out later. It's pretty cool. Did you just mention, where's this music from? Do we know? I'm assuming you do.
Jazz Jackrabbit? It's Jazz Jackrabbit. Which ones do I want to use? That one, that one, maybe this one for an inside. work blah, blah, blah. Okay, awesome. All right, so uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to be right back. I'm going to be uh, maybe 10 minutes, 15 tops, just to, you know, refresh, grab some uh, beverage, uh, grab a, go to the bathroom, do anything you need to do. I already downloaded Big Boo's Haunt, so we're pretty much ready to go once I get back. But we'll, we'll, we'll do it. I can't be able to see a little stretch. But I shall return shortly. Though I'll probably be hanging around in chat still. If anybody asks any questions.
I'm one of those weird people, though, that I also like uh, weird peripherals and add-ons. Even though I acknowledge it sucks because they all cost money. <laughs> like, uh, example, conceptually, I just like the 32X, even though it's garbage. Like, it's it's garbage for the Sega Genesis, but just because I thought it, it's a, a neat idea. To be able to create this little add-on clips onto your console and it uh it changes it how it works it makes it more powerful and how like i i love the tower of power concept so uh, except i guess i wouldn't have the tower because i have the different model of sega but I, I remember getting so excited a couple of years ago maybe this is like five years ago when i finally got a sega cd to match my 32x so i could finally combine it and build that ridiculously monstrosity oh and i have uh uh i clipped it's it's like i was like building a weird transformer that i was clipping on the uh 32 the, there's like a four player adapter that i got for bomberman bomberman whatever is it super bomberman that seems weird because of super nintendo but maybe it is mega bomberman mega bomberman uh, to play four player and so like I'd clip that on too just to make it look cool and throw your sonic and knuckles on top it's it's a monstrosity um, or I got super excited when I finally got the ps1 with the screen the mini one again same idea it's just it's just like a weird I like the idea of being able to add on and build things um, that's why it's like the pro consoles were cool or when they announced the new ps5 with the the removable cd or the, the one that's like detachable even that as an idea I thought was cool because it re reminded me of those old days. But it's not going to be utilized in the same way. But it, it's just a weird, dumb, cool concept. That it's it's like, yeah, just make an, another console. But it, it, it's maybe it's it kind of reminds me of how like John Carmack would talk about how 
he thinks uh, that the Xbox 360 and PS3 generation should have lasted longer or should be able to last longer because he said his the issue with games, and he's probably right to a certain degree, I, I don't actually deny it, is he's like, games are just unoptimized, right? So if you could just optimize it for the hardware specifically and just really uh, nail that stuff, you, you could make amazing games still. But of course, the world isn't filled with John Carmack's. It's with average people. So you unfortunately have to just give them more power to accomplish the same kind of feats. But uh, I never see I didn't get to start like so even though I like them conceptually, I didn't get to start buying games until like the PS2 era. That's when I finally got your, my job, like your my very first job and started making my own money so you could buy your own stuff so unfortunately like i never even knew about most of the stuff that was coming out for even though i owned a ps1 i didn't know about stuff that was coming out because i tried not to pay attention to it unless it was like in a magazine so even the 64 dd i don't think i knew about it until like years later when i i, I think it was when i was reading amp and i like doing something for animal crossing i found the trivia that it started as an n64 disk drive game and it's playable on an N64. It's time to abort your whole friggin' species. But that again, it's just a cool little console. It's like a cool concept. I I, I like if you can upgrade. I like if somebody if we went back to consoles where you could upgrade. Even if I do agree and understand that PC will always be like the best place to get a game if it's available, because eventually you can do so much with it and never really truly go away. But just for ease of access, consoles are just still offer a lot, and it just I, I just wish we went a little crazier. I'd be okay. Like I, I think the only person that might do that is maybe like Nintendo, go a little crazy on the next console where you could maybe do some weird upgrades. But probably not, because they're so afraid of people breaking into things. Yeah, see, that's where I picked up. But I became, I was more console-based back then. Just, to, just as a precaution, I'll, I'll, do a, I'll do a fresh one. Fresh opening of an e-duke. Uh, is there anything in this? Is it just a map? Is it anything special? Text. That is. Other levels. First level mentioned. Barf. Dot map. I, I, I kind of like how the weird waves. Like, for example, when I first started, no multiplayer. Never played multiplayer. I had no interest in it. PS2 era, like stuff like that. Same thing. No, no multiplayer. Uh, outside like brief time, like going to our friend's house or something. And then you get into like the Xbox 360 and stuff. And then that's when I played more multiplayer. But then I had a weird PC phase. It's like where I played, like always had a PC. But it was. Uh, and I started playing like Battlefield and stuff. What do we got here? It's basically Big Boo's Hump from Super Mario 64. I don't know how far I ever personally got. So this map uses some tight shore scissoring in multiple places. Ooh, okay. Okay, we may, which may cause Duke to get stuck and might even... I don't worry about that. So Liz troops might behave a little weird. Maybe. I don't know when this came out. When did this... When did, when is, I guess I wish people it says 2023 for the for the file but i also know that this could be older that's not in the uh, file okay so all
we understand. What? Oh. I, for me, it was always like I would spend a m some money or uh, when I first started out, my dad, because he did design work for kitchens um, in, the, in the early days, you need a, like, a powerful PC to do any of those renders of kitchens in 3D. So we had a really good PC. And so I eventually inherited his old one. And then I would just upgrade it every couple of years. But eventually I got to the point where once it started to have issues running modern games instead of just doing tiny upgrades i ended up just switching over to console and then i would buy a new like do a complete build of a new pc or something or buy one and then once that started to die again it would not run games well enough i just start switching to console and i would go a little back and forth Oh, what am I doing? That's not what I want to go. That's a smart little turnover. I wish I was skilled. I remember I bought a soldering gun kit once, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get this, and that'll force me to learn solderings because I, I wanted to upgrade a Game Boy Advance and like put in a nice screen in it. Get into stuff like that. Um, and then I never opened it. That's how a lot of my, that's how a lot of my, oh my God, I was, whoa. Bought a box Jaguar, 40 pounds. Man, I, it sucks because, like, I, I've seen that happen uh, when you mentioned, like, the James Roll, Roll stuff because, like, I, I don't know if I would call him a jerk because I, I, I don't know if he's intentionally doing it, but I, I do notice that. Or, like, Metal Jesus when he does stuff on games. There's definitely a, a time where I'll notice a price rise, but I also notice when remasters get released and or announced to it just it sucks uh i don't sell my games very often i remember i had a double of silent hill like i had a, a ps1 silent hill and i was like i, I just I, I forget what i was trying to do i just was like you know what i just really want to get a, this specific game that i think i saw at a used game store and it's normally hard to get but i didn't want to spend money um so i just took a bunch of games in and Silent Hill was like, they were like $300 store credit. And I was blown away. I had no idea. I remember it was expensive. I was like, it was like 60 or 70 bucks was still the going price. And, but they were like $300. And now it's like $500. It's ridiculous. Like the PS1 stuff, and especially here in Canada, our prices are so high for stuff. But it, it gets out of control. Like absolutely insane. And... But that's just that's general greed, right? Instead of just offering something at a reasonable price, I'm okay with stuff slowly getting higher over time because it's scarcity and stuff like that. But there's there's some stuff where I'm like, it doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense to be that expensive. Like when I go in there and it, I think it was, um, and I know there's even ones more than expensive. This I went into my used game store, and there was a Tron or whatever the Mega Man one is for PS1 and it was over a thousand dollars it was a thousand dollars and I just like I, I don't have any personal attachments to that series or games so I just I know of it and I'm just like a thousand dollars 
I'm like, there's no way that game's that good to be a thousand dollars. Like it might be again, technically impressive. It, you might have that understanding that this is something that was good for its era, but like, there's no way you, that's, that's a thousand dollars. That's an, and that's one of the ones I'd actually I really want. I want Rule of Rose, and uh, I'm trying to get all the horror PS2 stuff because like that stuff's kind of cool to me. So I, I I'm missing Rule of Rose and Haunting Ground. Oh, and Kuon, the 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 uh, from software game. And they they regularly pop up here, with the exception of Rule of Rose. I don't think I've ever seen it in my local area, but even those ones again like five hundred dollars. It's I, 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 nonsense. Um, I guess this uh, is the Battle Lord Bowser. It's caught off guard there, but I just realized that this is supposed to be some Super Mario shenanigans. I can still get shot when I'm in the TV, right? Oh, is he not shooting me now? Oh, cool. After the local mad piano moved out, what? He took the opportunity to upgrade a lot of shit all over the mansion. Keycard locks, force fields that can zap your ass, and all that fun stuff. Imagine if this guy didn't know you could do that typing thing that I also didn't know about. Uh, uh, and all that fun stuff. And he decided that, I think I need clock tower as well. Um, that our next scuttlebug jamboree would focus on celebrating the progress we've made. Unfortunately, as you might expect, the aliens arrived just a few days before the scuttlebug jamboree has to to take place. They quir quickly infiltrated the mansion by using the underground tunnel connected to the storage shed. Well, thanks for telling me. And after that, they could basically just jump, fly all over the deck. Do you know how much text here is, Duke? Like, calm down. Uh, tunnel connected to the storage shed and after that they would basically just jump fly all over the damn place with impunity so he we had to move faster than usual uh, fortunately this time all the incorporeal uh, entities present were evacuated in time what uh, what are we talking about here now non-incorporeal whatever the scuttlebug that we invited from uh, hazy maze gave Jesus Christ what is this uh, <laughs> have, uh, accompanied us as well. I'd say more, but I don't want the aliens to find out how we escaped or where we went as we talk for another two paragraphs. Uh, for now, <laughs> enter the mansion basement that same uh, way the aliens did. Grab the access card uh, down there and then use it to go in the front door. I wish I could tell you more, but... My ability to remotely observe shit at the mansion is limited, so it's not quite clear just how much damage the aliens have done. That sensor signals indicate that the stairs to the second floor still work, which is fortunate, as you'd be uh, shit out of luck. Uh, otherwise, at this point, the aliens have almost surely fucked around with the security systems as well, so you might as well shut that shit down because it will probably just get in your way. Instead of doing anything useful, your extraction point is in the roof of the mansion you should be able to let the, uh, to get there via the balcony on the third floor uh you know i kind of sort of think that maybe the aliens didn't do enough damage to this place if you destroyed it just a little bit more then he'd at least have an excuse to do a proper renovation a kitchen bathrooms are you saying there's not gonna be a bathroom oh i guess it's it's true i've never seen a bathroom in mario 64 and proper access to the upper floors and uh never mind in the other hand hope you didn't uh fuck uh, up that awesome instrument we got as a replacement for the mad piano that moved out a while back clock tower 3 is also really good regularly quote the lines in that one yeah there's like some other ones i'd want but like because i'm in, in canada uh i can't get them not that they're necessarily good but ironically i bought one and then i was so stupid so there was one time i went to like a pawn store and there was alone in the dark for ps2 so alone in the dark the new nightmare when they try to do like a little reboot of Alone in the Dark. Um, and I have that for PS1. But, and so when I saw it for PS2, I was like, oh my God, what? It came out on PS2? Uh, so I, I bought it because it was 10 or 15 bucks. And then I took it outside, opened it, and I'm like, oh, cool. And then I realized it did come out on PS2 in the PAL region, which 
I can't read here unless I like had a hacked or jailbroken PS2 or something, which I didn't. So I immediately just threw it out because they wouldn't take it back. They're like, no, it's final sale. And then they're like, yeah, we know it's not something people can play here. So that's why we're selling it so cheap. But I, I hate that I threw it out because I would have been able to back it up or something. And uh, I want that Michigan. That weird Michigan one where you're like a reporter or something. There's probably a few others. Anyway, so that's how we're starting this map. Oh, doing. I'm. I'm assuming we're going to do some chore scissoring, maybe for the insides, to make the insides work. There's a gun over there. Come get some. Okay, some pipe bombs here. Yeah, there's so many upgrades that. Uh, uh, Again, I just did I have a save here? No. I just think are cool, especially now. Come get some. I keep teetering on doing like, do I do upgrades on my consoles, my old ones, just for fun? Like I have a nice setup for all that old stuff. Like what? just do emulation, just because it's simple. Okay, he hasn't been activated yet, so if I don't look at him. Could I walk right in front of a battle lord? And just not look at him. Okay, that's that nope, that doesn't work. Okay. I like that. Do that a lot. Love that to break up the texture. Nice. I don't know what I expected. I'm, I'm not sure what I expected at all. Down. Okay. Down. Do I want to go down? I Maybe. Could I squish him? Probably not. He's too big, right? This might not be a good use of my ammo. Okay, I feel like I've tried this experiment before. Okay, so I'm seeing I'm seeing some of the uh the chore right there. Makes sense actually. Yeah, we got the we got the second floor going on here. Right? So we're seeing that. So that's the stuff that people mentioned like I would just roll with it if I did it. And to, to be fair, that's like a really minor one. Like I could kind of see it, but it's 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 not a huge huge deal. But I wonder what if I could understand really truly what causes that, even though someone's explained it, I think it's just something I have to do. To fully understand it step by step. Okay, so was there anything else in here? Or is it just that? Okay. Um, I think we're doing actually pretty good. So we don't want to activate this dude again. So let's just close that. Yeah. Like, is there anything that does hurt bosses? Like, I guess explosions would. Right? Because you use them for that Commander Keen ship. I thought that was cool. Um, Fortunately, it didn't kill them for me. But Oh, and then there's that one map that we used where we people got nuked. Oh, and Submerge did that with a secret weapon, too. I can't get in there. 
I can't. But I can't get in there. I got in there. I'm assuming you were Goombas. Let's save the shotgun if we're going to be dealing with those guys. see it coming through that tunnel yeah it's like the apartment's intestinal track right there Where is it? oh where's the uh let's turn that a little Okay, five secrets. I wish I knew the layout. Like, uh, like, off the top of my head. I don't know if I'll, I'll really recognize Boo's house as much. Tempted me with an like, RPG. Kiki does that sometimes. When did, when did I get... Uh, what would you like? I didn't know when you were going to get up, so I kind of... I've, I've still been up. Yeah, yeah. Just going to shut that. It's dangerous. Um, I don't know, we could get whatever I'm too picky right now. Like a pizza or something? Just because it's easy and I can just order it. Uh, preference for what on it? Um, I don't know, maybe like some good. We could do a Hawaiian or a Canadian or some peppers, whatever. Okay. Oh good, that we started a different map. Somebody wanna, wanna try? This is a booze big haunt from Super Mario. Yeah. Okay. Just let me quickly order this, this pizza then. As is tradition.
Sorry, I just need to wait for it to give me a time so I have a rough idea of when to at least pay attention. It's matching my, my career. Oh, well, I'll check back. Okay, sorry. Sorry that delay happened. Um, I didn't expect there to be so many Battle Lords. I didn't know I was going to be murdered by Battle Lords. Oh, look, you even got the, the see-through water. This was the first Troar tutorial I followed, was to learn how to do see-through water. It was, uh, I think it's... Interesting. Interesting. Because this is the back door where that battle lord was. But I'm obviously not there. Oh, did I take an elevator up here? Is that why? Did we? Oh, yeah, we went down. So, yeah, he'd be above us. Okay, I thought we were on the same level. Maybe we are. Da -da -da. Uh, I guess we have to go in there. I think that's where we're going to go. Oh, I thought that was a little tunnel. <clears throat> okay, I think the plan should be... Oh my god, there's things up there too. Look at that. Oh, and over there. I didn't even think about that. It's a little, little, there's a little wonkiness, but. Hmm. Interesting. Thirty six minutes. Okay, let's kill this guy. Wait, is he a big one? No, because he just died. Wow, that was felt like that was very little. Hmm. Is there any ammo? No? Okay, so now we have the red key card, so we can go up and open the door. Where is it? I don't know. I don't know what kind of... how the, this person would do secrets, so... We're kind of in uncharted territory here. It's weird. I keep getting caught on these little things here. Like, I understand it's because of the soaring. Soaring. I'll take your... I'm going to have to take your word for it. I don't know if I've ever been... I must have. I must have seen Boo's, Boo's Castle. All my time with Super Mario 64 was with... on When I, again, play at my friend's. And then finally, when I got it, I started playing it on the DS, but I don't I don't know how far I got. I know I must have seen it. Oh, oh my god, I forgot about you guys. It's been so long. <clears throat> Where you land 
whenever you fall from. Oh, is it, so this would be. The staircase, wouldn't it? Does it? Well, I do know the characters look different. That's one of the reasons I was like, yeah. Look at this. I like this. Look how cool that looks. So I want to take the I want to take a little screenshot of that. Excuse me. And then we'll do one without. Oh, look at that little bench, too. That's a really nice bench. Love that bench. I love bench, you know? Oh, I can't go on it, though. Well, that's. I think that's probably okay. I want a different angle of this. The instrument built for Big Boo's Haunt, first floor music room. Currently selected song, music soon, or in view while now playing. Oh. Like, this is impressive as a build. Even if it doesn't do anything. I don't, I don't, maybe it does do something, but. They mentioned something about this, though. What did they mention about it? Or is it just to look at it? They're like, I'm very impressed by it. But I feel like it, I thought that was going to hint at something. Didn't do enough damage. Uh... Oh, no, they're just, they're just like, it's awesome. Which, hey, you know what? It's okay, you can flex. He's just angry. Oh god. Oh god. You, you cheated. Heal? Maybe? Was there, no, wait, there's health out here. Let's grab this. Let's be smart. I needed that. Yep, we did. That's why we're grabbing it. I could kill him through the back door. 25 ammo. I don't have... Uh, I have enough of that. I don't know. Let's think... Let's, let's see. Let's think that there... Hmm. Hmm. I 
I'm gonna Super Mario this shit. Oh, you... No. Oh my. God, I was hoping you couldn't see me. <laughs> I'm thinking I could jump on their heads to get up there. I don't know if that's something I was supposed to do, but that's what Mario would do. Stop, guys. You're trying, I'm trying to test a theory out here. My theory didn't work. God. My God. That was so cruel. Is that something something I should know? Okay, so this is this is here. We we've, we've seen this before. Okay. Nailed it. Wait. Hmm. What?
Hmm. Guess I could. Oh no, I can't. Okay. Need to get up there. How would I get up there? Like the only way is through here. But how am I jumping up there? Is there something? Was there a button I should hit? Okay, okay, all right. Somewhere I should drop, maybe. Vent. It's cool, but so then there's up here. Like it's got got to be here. And then you could. What is in this room? Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I am. Oh. We did miss something. Save the rest. Just check my check the delivery time. Twenty one minutes still. How you solve this? Let me give me like another minute. <laughs> let me let me see if I can solve this problem. And then, and then you can come save me. <laughs> Gotta do a little crouch jump to get through the little scissoring method. Like, I know I could open this back up here, unless one of these is breakable. Because we couldn't jump on these. Couldn't... I'm not tall enough to jump here, either. That's what I thought I'd have to do. Mm. 
I wonder if there's like a button in there. Let's well, let's kill him. Let's kill him. You know what? Let's kill him. He's lived long enough. Because this is the only room I'm not able to ch check. I'm hitting him. I'm gonna reload. There's no way I'm gonna... Okay, okay. Oh, I have to get that secret again. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Let's get that secret again. Um, hmm, hmm. I not like there's got to be something else there's got to be something else I'm missing well obviously because otherwise how would you be able to beat this level you know but what is it is it under there no under there no and under here Anything else I could be missing out here? I don't think so. See the vent that's up there. How did I? It was the, where I went. Is that a button? Can't tell what that is. You can give me a hint. Give me a hint. And hopefully I'll solve it before you type it. Quick. Quick. Like these look like switches, right? Like these look... Oh. These are... Like I... Th this definitely looks like it's supposed to be like an elevator. But why? How do I activate it?
the only thing I can think of is like if there's a if there's something where this guy is. Like a, something I'm supposed to shoot. Access rear gate. Like there is a thing in there. But I don't know if I could shoot that. Squares in the like I, I just thought that was part of the texture. Right? Like in the red room. Uh, in the red room, stand against the east or west wall. Look up. Oh, 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 you know, it, I, they blend in so well that I didn't, I it, it just thought it was a texture. Okay, 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 all right, all right, all right, all right. So it's, <clears throat> I don't know which way is going to be which. Well, I guess this is going to tell me. So this is red, 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 okay. So there's just one space. So this one is red. Red, red. And then this one is red, red, red. Oh, I did this one wrong. Right? Or is it, or is it, so I need these ones too, because these are red. So that's supposed to be red. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I think. I mean, wait. No, this one's wrong, this one's, this one's. And then, probably the opposite of this, but let's roll with what I'm doing. Yeah, it's the opposite. Unless it's the opposite of that. It's the opposite of that, isn't it? Like, so it's actually, and then it's this. No, that seems wrong to me. That seems right. Like, am I, am I like really screwing this up? Like, what am I? So that one, the top one is this, this, this. And that, that, yeah, that's what, oh, oh, you know what? I just had it backwards. I had it backwards. I'm so stupid. This one is supposed to be one back. So this one is this. I thought I had that like that. Maybe I didn't. So it's that one. No, no. Yeah. And then this one is... this 
No? Probably did. Is it the opposite here? What did I have? What did I have here? Is it the opposite of this? Like, are they thinking, like, I walk in here, so that would be the top? And if so, like... Would it be... Would it be like this? And then, like this. I hate how I know I know what the code is. I just don't understand the order yet. Okay, there's that one. That one, that one, but it's not that. Okay, so then let's try reverse. So it's it's the red is is the button, I'm assuming, I guess. So so these would be I wasted just so much ammo doing that that I just don't. I don't wanna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna redo this. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, it's like I might have to grab my delivery order. Yeah, I am. Okay, give me one, like two seconds. And this is a cruel switch puzzle. It's, it's cruel. It's cruel. Come on.
Alright. Eating some garlic bread. Okay. What? Yes. Once in a while, like, order pizza and they'll give free garlic bread. Even better when they give it with cheese. The problem is, it's like probably them trying to get rid of their buns before they go stale or something. I don't think that's the case necessarily here. But, gotta eat it right away. Otherwise, it's just a waste. And they give you so much sometimes. Um, anyways, so here, here's the puzzle, right? So let, let's let's review this situation. Puzzle. This is the puzzle. I'm assuming the red is what we want to shoot. But it could be the opposite. And then... But it's just, okay, wh when you walk into the room, which direction? Like, am I, if I stood completely still like this, we already tried this way, so it can't be this way. Like maybe, I don't know, maybe we didn't, maybe, I don't know. Because, and then, if that's the case... I just want to see. It's like one down. Yeah, one down. I'm like second guessing myself. And in my opinion, it would be this one right here. That would be that one. And that one. That. That one. Because we're one down. All right, so now we'll try the opposite of this, which is, if that one's that one. Okay. Okay, so if it's not that, then it's the opposite of this. Which is going to be this. Or it's going to be the reverse. And then we've covered all possible scenarios. All possible scenarios. You mean there's another thing on top of this? Give me one second. Let me try this one last thing. This is the last one we're on. Okay, so it's not... It's not that, so it's reverse. So if it's not that one... It's going to be... This one. Fucked up. This one's fucked up. Okay, so this one's fucked up. Uh, this one. That one. So that one's that one. Right. We're doing that okay. Okay, so. And then this one is this one. And these ones. Mario game would seem. It's, it's, it might be an inevitability. 
So it's 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 gotta be the opposite of this, but did we we didn't do the opposite of this, so then we didn't do the op did we do the opposite of this, did we? Is it facing this way instead? Because that's the same way if we went in uh oh, God, didn't. Here, let me, what we're gonna do let me grab another another garlic bread. Did I go dyslexic or something and I just can't figure out? I feel like I've tried every combination backwards and forwards. And I have the answer. Unless. What are you waiting for? Christmas? It's a scuttle bug. Which maybe is confused. So maybe it's backwards. Maybe it's because Mario goes, wow, 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 wow. It kind of sounds like something. I guess that kind of just sounds like almost any foreign language sometimes. Just like a weird sound. If you're not familiar with the language. Shooty. So So if I were looking at it like this, it's like L one and then this one's like like law the It's a darker shade of red when it's pressed. Those look the exact same to me. Excuse me. Oh God, sorry. Uh, little little L. Little L two. Little L two. Little L two. Little L. I swear I did that like a thousand times. I felt like I did that a thousand times. So like it wasn't, I, I think it's just me. 
that is special. Because I definitely felt like I, I tried that a thousand times. Thank you. Thank you. That's an accomplishment for all of us. It's me. That was... I, I don't know. I guess we now know how many buttons it takes to break my brain. And it's, and it's that many. It's that many. I, I, I literally, I, I pretty much did. I think I, I reloaded twice because I was worried about it. Because it was at the point where even if I, I didn't know where other ammo was, because I pretty much ransacked the place for the most part. So it was at a point where I'm like, cool, cool. Look at these. Wow, very monster heavy. Wow. Uh-huh. Sounds great. There's a stairwell. Okay. Um, yeah, it was at a point where it's like, even if I did solve it, I would have no ammo. What are you waiting for? Christmas? All right, this opens up a new world of possibilities. I really need that ammo, though, so... Okay, so we know there's a, a thing up here. Look at that! We can select a game, Duke Chess. Insert cash or card to play. Who made this? This is fine. Corrupt check in Mapster 32. Tricks and Traps. The Gorgon of Tror Terror. Michael Bay map design. But it worked properly in this version. What are you Who, who's who's dropping stuff over there? Uh... I had to land the first Mario party where he, he spoke German. Does he speak in any other language? I'm previewing Duke Bingo. Doors, how do they work? Everyone fucking loves view screens, right? Right? Uh, dip switch sniping? Yep, that's just tile zero. Jump on shit. Uh, Duke Goldberg puzzle bullshit. Is there going to be a Duke Goldberg? On this, I'm hoping all these things being mentioned are going to be here. Hijink, uh, Slimers infesting the HVAC system, uh, sprite work making the renderer eat shit, break all the things, invisible. What are you waiting for? Christmas, steam, steaming, I'm see mine, <laughs> um, boss rush. Free space jank, a lovely be beverage, uh, sewer shenanigans, 
random useless vehicles. Oh, vehicles are not useless. What the fuck happened to that sector? <laughs> Respawn ambush, constru structural failure, duke talk, party yard, party hard, sorry. Sprite work, wall of text, uh, underwater side window. Yeah, literally a dumpster fire. Usage of limited inventory items. Yeah. Love all of it. It's great. Yeah. Kind of like this room. In the original Super Mario 64 course, the mansion's geometry has substantially fucked up in multiple places. Unfortunately, Super Mario 64 DS inherited those fuck ups. I took the liberty of rectifying that bullshit. You're welcome. We were just talking about. Good old Mario DS. Now I'm gonna want to play Mario DS. I don't know if I still have my copy. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Um, well, let's clear the. I don't know if I want to kill. Maybe I want to kill him for. Uh, kill him first, just to make him stop roaring in my ear. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll think about it. Oh, yellow key card? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Something I'll open up, or am I missing a secret something? All right, well, let's come back to this. What's in this door? Nice. Oh, Devastator? Oh, we're we're cooking with gas now. Ah, yes, laser trip binds. I guess I could use those in this map. There's there's so many clusters of enemies. I don't know if there is any more because I just killed pretty much everybody. But uh, maybe, maybe I'll get lucky. Okay, so I think that's the only room other than that yellow key, but so we can go up here. Is there anything? Did we go through that door? Yes, we did.
I realized I had a better way of doing this, so I decided to die. Forgot I got the shrink ray. Yeah. Can't go out there? Yet. Gotta thin the herd a little bit. vision why don't we get them back over here so they can start shooting each other again The health med kit, I know. But is there any, like, little ones I was missing? In the near vicinity. Just thinking. Thinking if that was, uh... Interesting little All right. kind of map I was expecting. Passage to the second floor. Where is it? Passage to the second floor. Oh, I could have used the tripwire. Ah, that thing. Okay. Too much effort, to be honest, I'm likely to use more health setting up. Uh, I think it would be different, like, if I if I had played this before and knew exactly what the enemy... I guess I should just assume there's going to be a ton of enemies in every room so far, but uh, if I had played it before, then maybe I would be able to set it up. Trip mines are, are so difficult. Oh my god. Is 
scared the crap out of me. Yeah. Now, now it's just just the way I tried to think. Oh my god! Oh my god! I should have used a trip wire. I don't think I fully understand what's happening. I don't know if that's doing any damage to this guy. I don't know how I'm gonna... Okay, so I think the, the strategy I have here is sound. Activate these guys. So that they start doing doing whatever. Try to save some ammo here. Nice. This is a good run. Kiki, no! This is a good run. Do we have a... I don't know what I was expecting there. I think I'd actually have an easier time if they land down here. I had the right idea. I had the right idea. I know the finishing line is right there. Where would these other secrets be? I 
I'm trying to jump on that roof. I want to see if that's a... Help back here. What the? Where are you guys coming from? Just chaos. Okay, okay. We did good. I don't know where the other secrets would be. Okay, I want to say it would be down... Because there's one in this corner. You'd think there'd be one in every corner. hard to tell when you have this stuff. Oh. Oh, look at that. Nailed it. Huh. Okay. So where would this last secret be? Like, obviously... Won't need it. I think it's probably... Would it be on the roof? Yeah, it, it would have been. Thankfully, actually, they're, they're pretty good at crowd controlling themselves. Um, is there any more health under there? that last little boy I thought it would be like in one of these platforms when you like have to fall forgot
in here. No. I like these like little lights. don't know where you would be um I well that's not like I tried like maybe I feel like there'd be a whole section here right like that you could go to Maybe not. Maybe there's no way to get on top of that stuff, but it sounds like there's a, a microchip place right there. I want to say like it would be jumping on there. Oh, it was. Okay, yeah. That's what it was. I knew there was going to be something on there. This is kind of like a, a more well-structured nuts map. Like, it's not obviously as nuts as nuts, but it's the... Uh, it's the same kind of idea where it's just there's so many enemies so many okay so i'm gonna quickly go around and take some screenshots here Uh, this will probably be the, that would be the last map of the day. We're gonna quickly look at some um, stuff just to prepare for next week. There is a few maps I wanted to check out. Come get some. What? There's only one. All right. This is one of those ones where I feel I really want to go with people. No, I can't. Can't clip through. Yeah, I so I it, I was gonna look at uh, whether or not those would be good to do at the same time.
Oh yeah, and then I'm supposed to activate this. Post these real quick, and then I'll, I'll look at the. Maps. What, what year is this? Uh, I guess this is the best place to do it. Uh, Big Boo's boss on. Where do you post them? I post them on uh, my Twitter page. If you follow me on Twitter, I tried you. It, what I'm trying to do at least every single time is when I play a map, I uh, post at least four screenshots on, on Twitter and I advertise the map link. Um, I also throw the map link in the description. I just have to add it for this map specifically. What year is this? Yeah, 2023. This is also 2023? I didn't know it was so, so recent. Big Boo's Haunt. Big Boo's Maybe this one I'm using a different gun. So actually, let's do this one, this one. This one. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate the follow. And also, if you haven't, uh, always like and subscribe if you can on YouTube. Helps the alg algorithms a lot, which I guess I'm supposed to appease to a certain degree. Uh, this second here. Ooh. Let me flip screens for you guys. Alrighty. So, um, just so we can kind of go over the maps I, I chose. Let's 
Let's do this. Oh, I should add that just before. You know what? I'll add it after the stream's done. So the ones I downloaded are, uh, so we did do, so we have Dogville 2012. Uh, why am I spelling it like dog? Like Doge. I was going to do it. So I downloaded Dogville 2012. I did download City Full of Scum. I like this little pool. Um, let me just move everything over. Yeah. So we're all in the same kind of view here. Uh, yeah, so I did do uh, City of Scum. And then the other one I downloaded too. This is going to be for... I don't, I don't know how I'm going to organize this was this. And I think it's just because I liked the hive. Was it a hive one? Aquatic hive. Yeah, but I don't, I, did somebody tell me this about this map? Aquatic hive. Yeah, isn't Twitter weird? I hate how they did that. I ended up having to like create stuff for it because like work I have to do some things and sometimes i need to find people and like i always need to follow it um what i also am planning on doing is once i i get a, a kind of <coughs> um general streamlininess to certain thing one of the community posts I'm, i want to make on youtube is going to like not not a review of what we played but just a summary of of the general maps with some screenshots and maybe some cool things that i noticed um, so that I can have a way to post something in the middle of the week. And uh, keep that, I, I guess, I don't know how well community posts help with the algorithm, but it would also help give some supplemental information because I keep thinking it's like, oh, I would save it and try to make a video video, like an actual production editing and all that. And I'd like to, but at the same time, I also want to not bite off more than it shoot. I can chew. And I'm like, I could do a community post. That's pretty easy. I could type stuff up. Um, and I could do it when I'm making thumbnails for, for next week's stream. Yeah. So aquatic hive, I just, I like that. I like this imagery that I saw here in the little screenshot is demolition. Uh, let's filter through. Um, I did have like a wild one where I, 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 I thought I'd just play through the starship troopers campaign for the total conversion. I don't remember the levels being entirely great per se, but it's 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 just because I was I was trying to I think uh, it would just be fun to blow off some steam, but it's not a uh, very dooky demolition demolition city map. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. Ghost Town Xmas. I gotta start stockpiling some stuff for uh, Christmas as well. I did look. Uh... Was Clear the Coast? Did you mention Clear the Coast earlier? Was this the one we were talking about? Hello, welcome. Okay, so maybe I'll get clear of the coast as well. Let's download that. I wonder if I want to do... I wonder what a good space map would be. I know we talked about WG City, but I'm trying to. I want to. I want to spread some the stuff out. So if we have a different, I don't think the Dream Trilogy should be rated this high. 
Armageddon from Mondi Beat? No, I haven't. Some of the, the only downside, well, not a downside for me personally, is for the total conversions is they're like, they're big. I know I would never be able to finish it in a, a single stream, and that's okay. It's just I'd have to, I, actually, I wouldn't be against, I guess, looking at some and starting to iron out which ones I would want to do. Um, that's why I was going to start with something smaller, like, because I, I know the Starship Troopers one, it's, it's, it's old, so I don't imagine it takes very long. I remember Roach Island as well. Which one is Alien Armageddon? So let's... Is it the one I'm, I'm thinking of? There's one I think I tried, like I turned it on once. Oh yeah, this is the one where is this the one where Duke's dead or something? It, like Duke's Duke dies, or maybe he's not dead. Or is that a or is that a different one I'm thinking of? Is that the AMC squad? What other eight campaigns are there for this guy? Or the top rated ones recently? Dressor and Gaunts, we played that one. Savior the Babes, I, I haven't really been tracking. To oh, let's do let's do mods. What do we call them add-ons? Like I guess mods. Let's do let's do rating. Like I also want to eventually try to to play the Duke Nukem Forever one as well to beat that just to to get that one done. I really like Duke Card. That was great. That's gross. What's what's haunted Nukem? Look at that! That was fun. Oh, they're trying to mix. The only thing is, I don't think this is. I, I don't like this use of the blood stuff. It's kind of not fully. Like it might work inside the mod, but little little jarring. WG space maps are legit. Some of the best space maps. I do. We do have those too. You have that. I remember when the gate was being made, but I actually don't think I know what it's about. I just remember like you travel to different things. Oh, I was just looking at that one. There's a lot of good ones. Yeah, there is so much. Um, and, and you want, maybe I'll end up basing it on something I want to do, like I'll end up doing, because I really do think I'll start like working on some actual level stuff tomorrow, like in the editor. So maybe I'll run into a uh, an issue that I'll need to solve and I'll base the maps around that. Or maybe I'll go a little wild. Again, I, I said I might do the Starship Troopers one, but mainly because I think I can do a, a funny star, uh, like thumbnail for that. So, um, it, it would be a little different. Like my end, I, I'd love to. I, I mentioned this on Twitter a few times too. That's like my end goal would be to make a weird Starship Troopers total conversion again, like those ones. Not even that. I think it, it's amazing. Just but 
I have a weird nostalgia for that that so I kind of want to make a how I would imagine that plays. Uh, I bet if I played it now, it, it's it doesn't hold up as well. But it, it turns out there's a ton of extra special campaign levels for it too. So I'm kind of excited to run through that. But maybe I'll do that privately. I don't know. Um, but I do appreciate everybody for hanging out. That was uh, LA Meltdown 2047 was pretty pretty damn amazing. And, and you know what? I was thinking about this too while I was on the break. Is I'm kind of impressed how when you look at the auto map version of it, how nice it looks. Dukington International. Is that on here? Dukington. I like the name. Maybe it's on the, what's the other one here? Duke Repository. Here we go. Not Duke University. Um, compared to like Peru, Peru is huge, but yet that this map was so so compact. Not really. Like it was obviously huge, but it's just in terms of when you look at it, how everything is so closely lined up together and real tight. It just fits in a compressed little space. do map listing why can't i find this dukington is this is this a is this a is this one i can't i've never heard of this so i kind of i'm just kind of want international oh there it is Oh, I like this too. Look at these. Look at these. Here, I'll download this one too, just to have it handy. I, I like the looks. Uh, I like. I like when people build stuff like this. So, there's a there's these in do card something like that. Yeah, that's why uh, for the for the new one, I even though I mentioned it's like I'm kind of I'm sketching out like a feel of where I want the player to go. I, and I got inspired by I, I forget where I saw it posted. Was it I think somebody mentioned. Um, um, what did they mention? They, they mentioned see there's like an i think it was an edict but maybe it was for ion fury where they you can now see the player run around and the layout like where they're walking and so when i saw that i was like oh cool how about instead of thinking of of the actual map as a map i'm like think about well, like how you want the player to move around and then maybe build a map around that at least visually and then you can kind of figure out detailed sections or individual things and slot them in um so i don't know how that's going to work out but i thought maybe i'll try that because the, the issue with the diner map i started was again it was never intended to be originally like a like a map map at first so me trying to slowly add things to it to make it a map there's nothing wrong with it it's just taking a while to do um where if i maybe i actually go and start to think of actually building a map as a map map like a gameplay thing instead of trying to retroactively refit it to fit gameplay then I'll be able to flip over um, and do stuff like that. And the detailing where I get stuck detailing things too much and that might happen less and less. It, it, again, nothing wrong with that because I always like whatever I make, but that's the problem is I'm spending so much time getting stuck on a detailing for one little area and I'll probably change it because it doesn't fit the, the, the gameplay. 
where instead if I had a rough idea of what I was going to make in advance, I wouldn't be so, so worried about detailing. And it's more so about getting the structure right first and then adding the detailing where I'm kind of adding detailing and then kind of shifting things around to try to fit a gameplay structure sometimes. Um, which is, again, it's fine to build stuff that way, but I, I don't know yet. Yeah, and that's part of the problem too of, of having the like realish life locations is it's very 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 rigid. For the diner so far, it's like at least I have some sight lines, and I was able to build some props in there, and I do have an idea of some stuff I would build. There's a good video on YouTube of interior design, environment art, mastering space, mastering place. Duke. I don't know why I'm going to type Duke Nukem in there. I'm just going to kind of say, add that to my save later. Interior design. Oh, it's GDC. Okay, that makes sense. Did I start watching this? Yeah, found it. Duke Memorial Hospital, was that the bonus level? That the secret level from um last week's map? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Is that a giant thing? I think I should I'll eventually go back to Billy Boy stuff too. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you for for watching, everybody. And uh, do again for future viewers, always like and subscribe. I'll get some um, chapter links up tomorrow once this thing is finally finished processing. And I'll update the, you can find all the maps in the description below as well. You can follow me on any other social media medias. If I didn't remove the discord, I wouldn't bother trying that because I think it's a dead link anyways. Um, but uh, yeah, I like this radar dish. But otherwise, uh, I usually announce next week's stream around Wednesday-ish, sometimes earlier if I have a really good idea for it. And uh, hopefully I'll start posting some community stuff if anyone's interested in some, not necessarily behind the scenes stuff, but I'll, I'll post more stuff on, on the maps we played uh, just as a little shout out in a different way to maybe advertise it through YouTube and connect everybody here and um, have yourself a, a wonderful weekend, everyone.